<laughs> and what do we have here, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the world's most famous stream. We are back once again to watch the New York Knickerbockers take on the Brooklyn Nets, the crosstown rivals, if you could even call that, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> the Knicks taking on the Nets today, coming off a loss against the Denver Nuggets out there in Denver. It was a good, tough game. Knicks gave a valiant effort, down as many guys as they are. It's all you could really ask for. You try hard, you put yourself in a position to win, and you let the chips lie where they may. Nikola Jokic took over. He was fantastic. Showed why he's the best player in the world. And he carried the Denver Nuggets across the finish line, picking up the win against the Knicks. Knicks looking to get back into the winning, winning side of the bracket. Uh, they have officially dropped down to the fifth seed, a half game behind Orlando <clears throat> in the standings, which is, you know, you know my stance on the standings. It is what it is, the Knicks dealing with all these injuries. You can't ask them to, to tread water for as long as they have. Still no updates on Julius Randle, which isn't good. Still really no updates on OG Ananobi, which isn't good. Uh, Mitchell Robinson inching closer. We'll see if he can come back in the regular season. I assume he's going to be ready for the playoff run. Um, in terms of like being able to actually get on the court, I don't know. Are we getting 70% Mitchell Robinson, 80% Mr. Robinson? Who, do you know? Who knows? Like we've been saying, the, coming off ankle in, uh, surgery, the conditioning isn't going to be there. The feel, the, you know, he's, he's going to be rusty. It's going to be rusty for sure. Uh, but if he can give you 15 minutes off the bench, you know, while he's still building himself up, 
we're going to be good. We're going to be good, right? So at this point, I'm looking at OG Ananobi. Get that elbow right, my guy. We need you, right? We are a juggernaut with you in the lineup. And Julius Randle. You know, at this point, it was like, maybe it'll be cleared for contact during the West Coast road trip. Maybe we'll see him come back during one of these games when we come back home against Brooklyn or Detroit because they're two lower-tiered teams. And you can come back in. You don't have to, to be the guy in those games. It's not going to be super physical and aggressive. And, yeah, he still has not been cleared for contact. Okay, all right. So we are left where we've been for about a month and a half now. A little bit more. Um, it was pretty much all of February, right? Uh, it was, it was, they got hurt at the beginning of February, so it's pretty much all of February. And now all of March we're going through without our guys, without our front court. Uh, but thank goodness Isaiah Hornstein has stepped up and showed exactly the basketball world. He showed exactly the basketball world, exactly who he was. Uh, Jalen Brunson has stepped up. I mean, I don't even know how you could have asked him to step up, but he's, he's raised his game to another level. Should be an MVP candidate. Should be in the discussion. Should be on, in, in the top five ladder, which he is not even in the top ten. I don't understand how that happens. <clears throat> you got Dante DiVincenzo who stepped up. You got Josh Hardy stepped up, especially after the All-Star break. He's been phenomenal, averaging well over 40 minutes a game. He's been doing his thing. Uh, and then guys off the bench like Precious Achua, Deuce McBride, guys like that. Although Deuce McBride may be in the starting lineup again today, we will see. Um, and then we made that trade for the Detroit boys who, you know, Alec Burks, pretty decent game against Denver. Had his, had his positive spurts. Had some negative ones too. Uh, but that's sort of the Alec Burks experience. We're still waiting on Bogdan. We're sort of get things rolling. Find some consistency. Find his spots with this team. It's not looked great. Um, so hopefully tonight and on Monday when we play Detroit, tonight against Brooklyn, uh, two lower tier teams where maybe we can take advantage of these guys a little bit and find some offensive consistency. We got a couple of easy games coming up. We got uh, Brooklyn tonight, Detroit on Monday. We got Toronto on Wednesday. Uh, and that's a team without RJ in the lineup. I don't know if Quickly's back, but he's been out the last couple of games. Uh, Scotty Barnes is out the rest of the year. So we've got Toronto, a reeling Toronto team. Uh, that's three games of lower tier teams. You got the San Antonio Spurs who are lower tier teams. They obviously don't really win all that much, but they do have a generational player on their team who can win them a basketball game all by himself. So it sh the Knicks should obviously win that game, but it's going to be it's going to be a close one. Uh, Deuce McBride is still in the starting lineup. Same starting lineup we've been rocking with for a while since the Golden State game. Uh, the Nets are starting Schroeder, Cam Thomas, Cam Johnson, Mikhail Bridges, and Nick Claxton, the usual starting lineup, of course. Um, and then as for the Knicks, so they got those four games, and then they end the month against OKC. So they got they got they got they got to get things going, right? Orlando's rolling. They got the easiest schedule remaining in the league. We got what 13 games left in the season, including tonight. The Knicks got to get rolling. Here we go, make a break time, and these guys got to got to get healthy, of course. Have to get healthy. All right, here we go. We're about to get ready for tip-off. We're popping, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy to see a bunch of people in the chat already. Uh, Ernest Cash. What's up, Ernest? Susan, of course. Kenny, Jose, Mr. Boom. Welcome back, my guy. Uh, Kenny, Nostalgic Nick, Susan, Big Rudd, everybody. Everybody who's been in the chat so far. Omar, <clears throat> Big Rudd, Bernard Johnson, Jose, 2026. What's popping, everybody? <clears throat> Tay, what's up, Tay? Uh, C. Tyler, Zane, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Getting ready for the tip-off. About to be off and running. Taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Now, technically considered a rivalry. We know how we feel about them. We don't even really think about them. Considering how bad the team has been, we, 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 really, we really don't even think about them, if we're being honest. <clears throat> now, Brooklyn, not a good team, but considering they're in the garden playing against the Crosstown Rivals, their Crosstown Rivals, not necessarily ours, um, they should get up and, and be ready for this game. So it's not going to be an easy game, despite the disparity in, in the team's records. All right, and we're off. Here comes Dennis Schroeder bringing it down. Brunson's going to pick him up. Over to Claxton, hands it back off to Schroeder. Schroeder being guarded by Brunson. Bringing it to his right. Nick's playing some denial defense. Schroeder still keeping it. Now over out to Cam Johnson. Brunson switches on to him. 
In the high post to Claxton. Claxton hands it off to Cam Thomas. Coming across. Loses it. DiVincenzo picks it up. He's bringing it down. Goes across Schroeder. Euro steps. Ball knocked out of his hands. Picks it up. Kicks it out. To Josh Hart. Pump fakes. Driving to his left. Goes all the way down. Lays it up the right hand. Can't get it to go. And then fight for the rebound. Hartenstein grabbed it and was fouled by Cam Johnson. <clears throat> Let's see, he got to the rim, and it was a goaltend on Claxton. Josh Hart got it up on the backboard, and then Claxton blocked it. The refs missed it. Either way, the Knicks will have possession here. Brunson has it up top, being guarded by Nick Claxton on the switch. Brunson crosses over, puts him in the post, stops, turns, foul line, fadeaway jumper. That's his go-to, can't knock it down that time. Good box out on Ihart as the Nets bring it down. Mikhail Bridges on the left wing. Brunson's going to pick him up. Bridges has him in the post, backing him down. Backing him down, cross-court pass to Thomas, extra pass, Cam Johnson out of the corner for three, gets it to go down, can't let that guy get open. He usually kills the Knicks. Cam Johnson loved playing the Knicks. Decade, what's up, Decade? Brunson bringing it down. Over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo has it up top. Over to Brunson on the left wing, being guarded by Bridges, coming to his left. Puts him in the post. Has it at the foul line, middle of the court. Leans in, pump fake, pump fake, step through, inside the Harnstein, flips it up, gets it to go down. Harnstein not hesitating with that little floater down in the lane about five to eight feet away. About five feet away. Knocking it down with consistency the last couple of games. Schroeder coming to his left off the Claxton screen, going under the basket. Kicks it on the right wing to Cam Johnson. DiVincenzo guarding him. Back to uh, Schroeder, gets to the foul line, pull-up jumper off the back rim. Brunson with the rebound. Three to two early. Ten minutes left in the game in the first quarter. Only two minutes have gone by. Brunson going past Schroeder. Ball knocked out of his hand. It's going to stay with the Knicks. Corey Scott, what's up, Corey? Jonathan Martinez, what's up, John? Uh, Mr. Boom said OKC is number one, but not uh, for long. Uh, they have three hard games to play. OKC is really good. It's going to be a tough way to end the month, but they've got four easier games to sort of warm up and get ready to go into that one. Josh Hart hands it off to DiVincenzo on the right wing, driving it down, gets fouled by Cam Johnson. That's two fouls on Cam Johnson. So, <clears throat> so he got loose earlier, knocked down the three, and he usually kills the Knicks from the perimeter. But two quick fouls on Cam Johnson should get him out of the game, unless Kevin Ali is going to trust him and leave him in. MBM, what's up, MBM? Uh, so DiVincenzo is going to go to the free throw line. Knocks down the first one. He's got one more coming. Tied up at 3. 9.30 to go. 10 minutes to go. Excuse me. And DiVincenzo goes 2 for 2 with the line as expected. Thank you, Devo. Schroeder's going to bring it down. Two fouls for Cam Johnson. He's going to remain in the game. I mean, two minutes into the game, you kind of kind of have to leave him in there. You don't want to throw away your uh, adjustments so early. Cam Thomas has it up top over to Schroeder. Schroeder trying to feed. They do feed it into Claxton in the high post. Pump pass fake. Driving it down. Spins. Pull, throws it up with the left hand. Can't get it to go. Good defense from Harnstein. Josh Hart bringing it down. Hit ahead past the Brunton on the left wing. Pump fake. Driving past Schroeder. Gets into the lane. Throws up the floater. Can't get it to go. Harnstein comes flying in for the offense rebound. Kicks it out to McBride. He pump fakes over to Josh. Over to Brunson. Left wing. Left corner three. Gets it to go down. You just had a feeling that one was going down. You had a feeling that one was going in. 7-3 early, Schroeder coming down, coming to his left under the basket. Got nobody to get it to, gets it out to Cam, uh, Cam Johnson out of the corner. Brunson switches onto him, over to Schroeder, over to Bridges. Bridges up top, back to Schroeder, they give him space, pump fake, driving to his right, goes past Devo, lays it up and in. Not good enough defense, Devo. Swiss cheese defense from DiVincenzo that time. DiVincenzo up top, ball poked away by Schroeder. Devo's got to go in the backcourt to recover it. Gets it over to Harnstein. He has it up top. 10 to go in the shot clock. Backdoor pass to Brunson. Gets poked away by Bridges. Got to be quicker than that. A little too slow on the read. Cam Thomas has it up top. Over to Bridges. In the mid-range pump fakes. Lean in. Goes right at DiVincenzo. Saves it out to Claxton. Back to Bridges. Relocate for three. Off the back rim. Can't get it to go. Looking for a foul call. Nothing called. Here comes DiVincenzo. Cross court to Josh Hart. Josh Hart in the corner, McBride, no hesitation, three over Cam Thomas, gets it to go, Deuce McBride, love when he has the no hesitation threes, love it, 10-5 to five early, Cam Thomas pushing the other way, trying to get an easy one, banks it in over McBride, Knicks got to get back on defense, 
<clears throat> with the Knicks defense kind of uh, ticking up the last couple of games since Ananobi's return, teams really want to push the pace on the Knicks to try and get easy baskets. Don't want to play against their defense in the half court. Brunson has it up top, coming to the right wing. Claxton's going to switch on to him. Brunson, dribble pull up three over Claxton. Oh, hoo -hoo! Two straight threes for Jalen Brunson. Three straight threes for the team, <clears throat> including one from Deuce McBride. 13-7 to seven early, 7.45 to go. Schroeder has it up top, being guarded by Brunson. Over to Cam Thomas, getting downhill, gets to the foul line. Pump fake, leans in, kicks it out. Bridges, left wing three. He gets it to go. Brunson bringing it down. Both teams... Perfect from the perimeter. Three for three from the Knicks and two for two from the Nets. Brunson over to Devo. Devo, no hesitation from the left wing. Oh, he continues the, the fantastic shooting. Four for four from three. <clears throat> two from Brunson, one from McBride, now one from DiVincenzo. Schroeder on the right wing coming to his left, coming around a Claxton screen, pocket pass to Claxton. No, fakes the pass and then fades away out of the mid-range in the paint. Knocks down the low jumper. He got me with the pass fake. He got me with the pass. I thought he passed it. Brunson. Bounce pass to DiVincenzo. Driving it down on Schroeder. Gets stripped by Schroeder. Schroeder's, that's what, second or third time he's done it already. Cam Johnson on the right wing. Over to Claxton. Right side in the high post. Hands it back off to Cam Thomas. Goes under the basket. Goes for a scoop layup. Nothing called. A lot of contact. DiVincenzo, left wing three. He's feeling it. A little heat check there for the Knicks. Josh Hart trying to save it, but Bridges able to get it. Home run pass all the way to Cam Thomas, who was down there all by himself, and he throws it down for two. 16-14, <clears throat> halfway through the first quarter here. Both teams scoring <clears throat> pretty easily. Brunson has it up top. Mikhail Bridges guarding him. Yvette, what's up, Yvette? Brunson, uh, beautiful bounce pass to Harnstein, who goes down the lane for an easy two. The pick and roll between Brunson and Harnstein has been, it's been clicking. It's been nice to see. It's been beautiful. Schroeder has it on the right wing. Up top to Claxton. Over to Bridges, trying to get open. Brunson's going to have to switch on to him. He's got him in the post, backing him down, backing him down. They bring a double team. The Nets swinging it around. Cross court pass. Cam Johnson out of the corner for three, and he continues to knock him down. 18 to 17. The Nets remain perfect. The Knicks four for five from the perimeter. Brunson on the right wing being guarded by Bridges. Dancing with it. Looks like he wants to go one on one. He's going to put him in the post. Kicks it out DiVincenzo. He pump fakes. In the corner to McBride. McBride driving along the baseline. Oh, nice finger roll, finger roll move from Deuce McBride. A little pass face. A little pump fake. A little jab going along the baseline. Finger roll with it. Up against the Nets defense. Well defended against Brunson. That Schroeder tried to draw, uh, drive it in on him. Maybe Brunson got a piece of it. The rare Brunson block. <clears throat> and he's able to save it and throw it out of bounds on the Nets, on Schroeder. So it's gonna ball's gonna go back to the Knicks. It's 17 to 25 minutes to go. <clears throat> so both teams kind of going back and forth. Offense coming at, you know, coming in bunches from both sides. They're, they're knocking down the perimeter shots. A little bit of a feel-out quarter, as we like to say. Kenny, nice drive from Deuce. <clears throat> I think teams are really acknowledging that Deuce has become like a knockdown three-point shooter. You saw the way uh, Denver was closing out on him, and tonight you're seeing the way Cam Thomas, who's been guarding him so far, is closing out on him. They're closing out to the body, and they're saying, if you're going to beat us, you're going to have to go to the basket. This time he did. You're going to need to see a lot more of that from Deuce. He is capable of it. He's pretty, pretty good finisher around the basket, pretty strong player, uh, pretty athletic, but he has to be... Um, more cognizant that teams want him to drive, and he's going to have to make them pay by driving. <clears throat> it's nice that the three-point shooting is phenomenal. The three-point shooting has finally come around for the kid, but you need, you need him to start diversifying his game a little bit more now. MBM said, hate to say, must win. They're all must wins at this point. They all are. Right, we're going to play against Detroit on Monday. You best believe they're going to be looking for revenge. Um, they're going to be looking to... 
<laughs> you know, the last time we played them, there was a controversial call where DiVincenzo fouled Thompson and, be, you know, became a loose ball, and Josh Hart got the and one that won the Knicks the game. Uh, so they're going to be looking for revenge. So the Knicks, it's not like, oh, we're going to play Detroit, chalk it up as a win. Sure, we'll get that one right away. Like, no, Detroit's going to come out and play. We're going to have to beat that team. They're not going to beat themselves. Well, maybe they, they may beat themselves down the end because they're a young team and they're not very good. But, you know, they make a ton of mistakes because they're a young team. <clears throat> but, you know, like, they're going to play hard. They got good talent. If you don't show up to play, they could beat you. So every game at this point is a must win, right? Because you can't lose to Detroit when you got a game against OKC coming up and you, you're falling in the standings. It can't happen. <clears throat> so at this point, every game is a must win, unfortunately. Either every game is a must win. Exactly, exactly. We don't have the room for games not to be a must win. 3GP Garage. Uh, Knicks can't sleep on these low-end teams. Exactly, exactly. You got to come out, you're going to have to beat them. Because uh, Detroit's not going to give it to you. So Brunson's going to bring it down. We're back into it. Approaching the under five minute mark. Precious Achua has checked in for Harnstein. Achua up top being guarded by Claxton. Hands it off to Brunson, coming to his left. Brunson feels the double team, kicks it out to Hart. Hart driving it down, gets into the paint, puts it up with the right hand, can't get it to go. Achua right there. Should have just came down with it. He tried to, to catch it and guide it into the basket. Nowhere near it. Come on, Precious. Just pull down with the offensive rebound. Schroeder goes under the basket on the scoop layup. Can't get the layup to go. Missed the chippy. And Josh Hart bringing it down. Over to Brunson on the right wing. Attacking. Good defense from Bridges to stay in front. Brunson pulling it back out. Has it on the right wing. Dancing with it. He's got Claxton guarding him. Quick crossover to his right. Spin. Half spin. Step back. Pump fake. Step through. Lays it up. Can't get it to go. He missed the chippy. Ball kept alive to Precious Achua, who gets fouled going up for the second opportunity. Precious Achua going to go to the foul line. But unfortunate, Jalen Brunson couldn't convert. <clears throat> the tricky highlight play with the with the pump fake step back step through couldn't get the floater to go srk what's up my guy Knicks fan Knicks fan said we're supposed to get 8 to 14 inches of snow in south dakota that's crazy crazy because we're approaching april uh Brunson misses the first free throw. Come on. Come on. That's not a... I mean, Achua a missed the first free throw, and he misses the second free throw. You can't go 0 for 2. You can't go 0 for 2, Precious. Uh, Schroeder hands it off to Lonnie Walker, who's checked in. Over to Bridges. Bridges has it up top, being guarded by DiVincenzo. Coming to his right off the Claxton screen. Kicks it up top to Walker, who's coming downhill. In the paint. Euro steps. Lays it up with the left hand. Gets it to go. Lonnie Walker wants to get downhill. Knicks can allow him to get down there. Brunson bringing it down. Has it up top, being guarded by Bridges. Coming to his left, gets the deep. Uh, Schroeder switched onto him. Now he gets Claxton switched onto him. Brunson crosses over to his right, leans in, kicks it out to McBride. McBride extra pass to Josh Hart. Puts up the three with the shot clock winding down. Off the front rim, can't get it to go. Lonnie Walker with the rebound, bringing it down. Over to Schroeder in the corner. Finney Smith pump fakes and then goes along the baseline and feeds Claxton coming down the lane for an easy two-handed jam. Knicks got to wake up here as Brooklyn takes their first lead of the game. 21-20, Brunton bringing it down. They're going to call a timeout as they should. 3.09 to go here in the first quarter. Both teams going back and forth. Not a lot of great defense being played here. Both teams getting whatever they want. 3GP said, should Tibbs rest the starters with these lower-end teams? Thoughts? Uh, no, because you can't afford to lose to them with where you are in the standings. Um, <clears throat> and it really just depends. If you're blowing them out and you could rest them in the fourth quarter, cool. But, you know, with how banged up this team is, they're not going to be able to. If you're saying, should he? Sure. You know, these guys need a rest before the the playoff run but you can't afford to jose we need to hit our free throws absolutely pressure chill going over two sucks <clears throat> can't happen come on my guy 
Uh, decade said must contain Schroeder. I'm looking for a big night from, from our bench. We got, you know, Burks coming off a pretty good performance against Denver. Offense started to come around. <clears throat> uh, this team not nearly as good on defense as, as Denver is. It's not going to be as um, dire for him to hit every shot the way it was against Denver. So I'm going to need him and Bogdanovich to step up today. Those are the two guys I'm, I'm looking at because you know what you're going to get from everybody else. You know Hartenstein is going to be solid. You know what Chua is going to do his thing. Uh, for the most part, he's been playing you know pretty well since he's figured things out with this team and what his role is. Uh, you know what Josh Hart's going to bring. You know what Chinzo is going to bring. We obviously know what Brunson's going to do. But, um, you know, the question marks are, you know, is, is there going to be a good shooting night from Deuce? He already knocked down one, so and he got to the basket for a layup. So, cool, okay, looks like Deuce, is, he's got things going tonight offensively. You know the defense is always going to be there from him. And you're looking for Bogdanovich and Burks to step up. You're looking for somebody from the bench to step up. Obviously, you're looking at Bogdanovich and Burks because that's their role. <laughs> be scores off the bench, get buckets, fill in the gaps where we need you to. Um, and they have failed miserably at doing that so far since the trade. So I'm looking for them to, to you know, against a lower end team like the Nets tonight to sort of pick up their game, right? Going up against the Nets bench, they should have the advantage. They should be able to figure things out. Susan said, Tibbs can't rest any starter uh, because he can't sleep on any team at this point. Yeah, everybody's playing for something. Everybody's playing for something. Like pride even. Nobody wants to get blown out at the end of the season here. You want to end the season with good vibes. So they get it into Josh Hart coming out of the time up, being guarded by Bridges. Brunson out of the game. Burks is in. McBride has it up top. In and out dribble coming to his right over to Burks. Right wing three. Comes up short. Needed that one. <laughs> Needed that one, A.B. So the Brooklyn Nets will bring it down now. Dennis Smith Jr. has checked in. McBride guarding him. In and out dribble coming to his right. Up top to uh, Dayron Sharp. Over to uh, Bridges coming to his right. Cross court pass to Walker. Extra pass in the corner. Then Smith Jr. puts up the three. Can't get it to go. Dayron Sharp offensive rebound. Flips it up. Can't get it to stick. And then fight for the rebound. DiVincenzo wins out. Here comes Josh Hart bringing it down. Over to DiVincenzo. Crossover to his left. Pump fake. Kicks it out to McBride. Extra pass to Burks. Burks going along the baseline. Leans in. Pump fake. Goes up. Gets fouled. And one for Alec Burks. Okay. Okay. Big money AB gets to the basket then. Three-point shot not going down. Get to the basket for the and one layup. You love to see it. <clears throat> Susan reminding people to hit the like button. Yes, if you're in the stream right now and you have yet to hit that thumbs up button right below the video, um, please do so. It takes less than a second. It's free. It doesn't impact your viewing experience. All it really does is help support the stream. Um, it tells YouTube this is a solid piece of content that more people should see, help signal boost and spread it out to more people so we can get more people in the stream, more people in chat, and the more people we have, the more fun we have. Thank you guys. Alec Burks at the free throw line. This is the free throw. So the Knicks are now 0 for 3 in, on free throws. Come on, guys. You're professional. Come on. Cam Thomas up top. McBride chasing him around a sharp screen. Now they feed sharp. Swings it out to Walker, who pump fakes, driving along the baseline, gets caught in the air. Over to Sharp. Sharp lays it up with the left hand, gets it to go, and one, and a foul on McBride, who was a little too late coming through, trying to come up with the steal. Bogdanovich is also checked in. He got blown by by Lonnie Walker going along the baseline. So, Dayron Sharp going to the foul line for one more. 23 to 22, and Sharp knocks down the free throw, giving them a two point lead at 24 and 22. We are now approaching the under two minute mark. McBride has it up top. Over to Hart, swings it over to Burks. Burks bringing it up top. Over to McBride. Looks like the Nets are in a zone, a little matchup zone. Kicks it out to Alec Burks. They leave him wide open, and Burks can't make him pay. Come on, AB. Come on, man. That's two wide open threes, and they're not even really close. Cam Thomas bringing it down. Leaves it off for Sharp. Sharp. Out to Dennis Smith Jr. 
Coming to his right, getting downhill, lays it up with the right hand, can't get it to go, but he is fouled by Josh Hart. He is going to go to the free throw line for two free throws. MBM said Perk says Perkin. Ah, oh, man. Uh, 3GP said uh, 1K salary reduction for every missed free throw. Uh, it might get to that point. Look, they at one point they were one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the league. You know, since Brunson has come over, adding DiVincenzo, Josh Hart's a pretty good free throw shooter, although he doesn't get there that often. Um, they got some a lot better free throw shooters. The free throw shooting has come around. It's not been much of a problem. They used to lose games because they couldn't hit free throws. Now, now not so much. But <laughs> tonight's not looking great. Dennis Smith Jr. split a pair of free throws, 25 to 22. McBride up top, coming to his right off to off the sim screen, puts up the three, gets it, they go. Deuce McBride, three for three from three. I know, two for two from three. Three for three from the floor. Cam Thomas driving it down, high floater, can't get it to go, fight for the rebound, and Dayron Sharp right there for the tip up and in. Jericho Sims, come on. You got box out better than that. Achua up top, over to Burks on the left wing, feeds Sims in the high post. Sims hands it off to Bogdanovich. He's coming to his left. He's got some space, but they call an offensive foul on Sims for the illegal screen off the handoff. <sighs> Not a good start to the game from Jericho. Dennis Smith Jr. is going to bring it down. He has it up top. Feeds Sharp in the high post. Over to Finney Smith, back to Sharp. Sharp hands it off to Cam Thomas. Over to Lonnie Walker, puts up the three from the right wing, gets it to go. <clears throat> Brooklyn looks like a well-oiled machine on offense right now. The Knicks bringing it down on the left wing. Alec Burks, Euro steps, kicks it out to Achua, up top to McBride. Side step, step back three, gets it to go. Deuce McBride is now three for three from three. It's going to be one of those nights for Deuce. Lonnie Walker on the right wing coming to his left. Bogdanovich picks him up. Lonnie Walker has it up top. Coming to his left off a couple of screens. Bogdanovich sticking with him. Up top to Cam Thomas. He's going to one-on-one -on -one against Deuce here. Coming to his left. They bring a double team. Puts up the three from the left wing. Way off. Long rebound. Fight for it. Achua wins it out. And that's going to be the end of our first quarter. 28-30. to 30. Uh, Both teams scoring in bunches. Having no issue. Getting open looks and knocking down shots from the perimeter. How uh, the, the field goal percentage and the three-point percentage in particular has been phenomenal so far. Uh, we can go through the box scores real quick, but it's been <laughs> it's been lights out shooting so far from both sides, especially the Nets, who I don't think has missed the three. I don't know Cam Thomas just missed the three, but that's the only one that comes to mind that they missed. Omar, deuce is loose. <laughs> Jose said, I'm praying for the third Cam foul to be called. Well, he's not in the game uh, anymore. It was Cam Johnson, not Cam Thomas, uh, who picked up two quick fouls in the game. High scoring affair in this uh, Saturday morning, Saturday evening matinee game. <clears throat> as far as the Knicks go, Deuce McBride leading us in scoring with 11 points. Six for Brunson, four for Harnstein, five for DiVincenzo. Uh, McBride is perfect from the field. Three for three from three, four for four from the field. Overall, the Knicks are six for ten from three. And, oh, they did miss a couple of, a couple of them. Um, Brooklyn, four for seven from three. Well, uh, miss from Dennis Smith Jr., miss from Cam Thomas, and a miss from Bridges. Three GP, one of the best play-play commentary on YouTube. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. Uh, you don't have to compliment me. I'm gonna be here regardless. <laughs> whether whether we're we're doing the game and you know with, with three people in the stream or three hundred people in the stream, we gonna we gonna be here because I'm watching these games anyway. Might as well go live. Appreciate everybody uh, who participates in the chat. Always fun to have you guys, man.
Uh, so, after the first quarter, you know, I was asking for the bench to step up. I was asking for it, right? It was, it was very kind, right? Very, very simple, very simple request. Just need the bench to step up a little bit tonight, right? We're not playing a very good team in the Brooklyn Nets. The defense isn't really going to be there, and you can see it because getting pretty, some pretty wide open looks. And yet, only two points from Alec Burks in that first quarter. Now, we will see. We'll see as the game goes on, but... Need Bogdanovich to step up. He only played the last two minutes of the quarter. So we, he still got time to sort of heat up a little bit. He didn't even take a shot. So, all right, we're back into the second quarter already. McBride's going to bring it down. Dennis Smith Jr. applying full court pressure. Coming to his right off the sim screen. Good screen. McBride cross court to Bogdanovich. Coming to his right, getting downhill. Gets caught in the air, throws it away. Come on, bogey. Come on, bogey. It's not good enough. Dennis Smith Jr. bringing it down over to Lonnie Walker. He's coming to his right hand down the lane. They swing it around. Cam Thomas wide open out of the right wing. Way off. Alec Burks with the rebound. He's bringing it down. Left side of the court. Hesitation dribble. Cam Thomas guarding him. Burks picks his dribble up. Gets it out to McBride. Back in the Burks. Burks in the high post on the left side of the court. A little fade away over Cam Thomas. Can't get it to go. With Chua trying to sky for the, for the rebound but can't corral it. Is it Kareem's out of bounds? And the Nets will bring it down. Two-point lead for Brooklyn here. 30-28. to 28. Start the second quarter. Both teams going to their bench. And Bogdanovich gets beat back door by Lonnie Walker for an easy, easy layup. Bogey. Bogey. Not a good start, man. Alec Burks has it up top. Coming to his right off the sim screen. Goes right into the paint and gets absolutely destroyed. <laughs> swatted out of bounds by De'Ron Sharp. Not a good layup attempt from Alec Burks there. Uh, McBride throws it into Bogdanovich. Corner three, no hesitation. Air balls. Okay, bogey. Bogey, my guy. Wake up a little bit, my boy. I'm rooting for you. Cam Thomas, zero steps in the lane. Can't get the, the shot to go. Jericho Sims keeps, does a good job keeping the rebound away from Sharp. McBride on the right wing, dribble down, puts up the three. They don't step out the guard. He can't knock that one down, though. First miss of the game, four-point game, 32-28, to 10.30 to go here in the second quarter. Lonnie Walker has it on the right wing. Coming to his right, snaking it, getting to his left hand, step back, mid-range jumper over Sims, who had to switch out onto him, and he knocks it down. Very much in the rhythm, this Nets team. The Knicks have done nothing, have done nothing <laughs> to, uh, to take this Nets team out of their, their offensive rhythm. Alec Burks has it up top. Over to Bogdanovich. Bounce past the Sims. Going right against uh, Sharp. They're going to call it on the floor. Not in the act of shooting. <clears throat> so the Knicks will have it. Side out of bounds. Burks gets it in the Sims. Sims has it up top. Hands it off to Bogdanovich. Coming to his right. Bogdanovich in the lane. Cross out to Achua. Left wing three. Off the back rim. Can't get it to go. And the Nets will bring it down. So the Nets continue to be um, swing the ball around and get nice wide open looks from the perimeter. Even with their bench unit out there. And the Knicks really struggling with their bench unit out there. Arnstein is going to check in here. Jericho Sims checks out. Started to ease himself into the game, but it wasn't a good start from Sims. Going to need a lot more from him. McBride will bring it down. Josh Hart's also checked in. McBride over to Arnstein. Arnstein has it up top. Hands it off to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has it up top, being guarded by Claxton. Over to McBride. McBride swing through, coming to his left, getting downhill. Pump fake, leans in, takes the foul. Can't get the little floater to go, but he is going to go to the foul line for two. Nice little, nice little move from Deuce. Got into the lane, little pump fake. Got a couple of plays into the air. Come on. Come on. We need something going. Get to the basket. MBM, uh, possible jet lag, better than the second half. They shot it well to start the game. You know, maybe the jet lag is affecting some of it, but it's the same guys not playing well. It's Bogdanovich, it's a little bit of Burks, you know, 
It's Jericho Sims. It's the, it's the same guys. It's the guys who, you know, once we start to get healthy and we get our guys back, we're not going to rely as much on. It's the same guys who, who continue to, to be up and down, be very streaky, for the most part, be not very good. d -Rass. What's up, d -Rass? Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy to see you. McBride steps to the foul line, knocks down both. Thank you, Deuce. Cam Thomas <clears throat> inbounds it. Schroeder will bring it down. Being guarded by Burks. Schroeder over to Claxton. Hands it off to Lonnie Walker. Getting downhill. He's got space. Throws a high lob way off with the pass. Tried to get it over to Claxton. It's a turnover. Josh Hart bringing it down. Gets it out to Burks. Left wing three. Wide open. Walks into it. Can't get it to go. Harnstein offensive rebound. Gets it out to Burks. Burks no hesitation. Left wing three again. That time he finally got it to go down. Okay. Somebody off the bench is getting buckets. Thank you, Alec Burks. At least somebody's getting buckets off the bench. And the Knicks cut it to a one-point lead, 34-33. to Still keeping pace with them. Still without Brunson or DiVincenzo in the game. Under nine minutes to go. 8.53 exactly. Jose said, uh, put some respect on the name. Deuce, he's playing very well tonight. And this is exactly what you need. Right? You need your others, your role players. The guys who, in big games, have smaller roles because you're leaning more on your superstars. In games like tonight where you're playing not very good teams, you need those guys to build the confidence, build the rhythm, and, and you know, not be shy and get shots up. Like, go ahead, hoop. You're seeing it from Burks. He's not, he's not even hesitating. He's getting shots up. You're seeing it from McBride. He's stepping up. <clears throat> I'd wish we see it from, from Bogdanovich, but it's still a struggle. He does not look comfortable playing on this team right now. MBM said, same guys that continue to disappoint. Damn. It's the same guys, right? Like, we, we talk about a game after the game. We're looking for positive signs from Burks and Bogdanovich after the trade. Burks, you know, he seems to maybe be turning a corner. He's actually knocking down shots again. Uh, maybe coming out of that, that hopefully it was just a bad stretch of basketball after the trade. You know, it's tough. You got to move uh, to a completely different state. You're also traveling a bunch. You got road games. Then you're coming back. You're trying to find a place to live. You're living at a hotel. You're living out of a suitcase. You're not comfortable. You're away from your family. You got nobody. You're on your own. You got new teammates who you're not friends with. You're trying to build new relationships. You're trying to learn the plays. It's a lot to be traded. It's a lot. Um, you know, the Ananobi trade kind of spoils you because he steps right in and is fantastic and it's amazing. Um, but the Burks and McDonough deal, not so much. Not so much. You're seeing the struggles of what it, you know, what happens when you trade for a guy midseason. This is usually what happens where guys really struggle before they finally find their footing. <clears throat> you know, we've just been spoiled. We really have. Uh, Jap Aesthetics? What's up, Aesthetics? Nick's winner? I mean, I, I would hope that they would be able to win tonight against a Brooklyn Nets team that's not very good. Uh, Steve Soul uh, for Mamdas? <laughs> What's up, Steve? Good morning from Sydney. Uh, it's Sunday, 4.45 a.m. Go Knicks. Appreciate you showing up to the game, Steve. Welcome, 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 my guy. Hope you have a good time. 40, 40, 4.45 in the morning is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Uh, d Raz said 10-0 run starts now. It'd be nice. Irving Green, Burke sucks, period. Well, they're going to be relying on him a little bit until at least these guys come back. So, you're going to need him to step up. Soon said, I'm so tired of players coming to the Knicks with a lot of hype and then not carrying uh, their weight. Just excuses. You get traded. No family. Uh, hotel. But you're still getting paid. I'm just saying. Oh, of course. But there's a human element to it. It's difficult. It's difficult. And like I said, you're, we, we were spoiled with Josh Hart coming over and making an impact right away. We're spoiled with Ananobi coming over and making an impact right away. But this is usually what happens. You trade for guys and it takes a long time. Look at the Terry Rozier trade to Miami. He's not been very good either. And he was a 20 point per game scorer in Charlotte. It's difficult when you go from a losing environment to a winning environment and then everything changes in your life. The Nets have it, bringing it down. They're swinging around, great ball movement, but they can't get into the paint. Cam Thomas settles for a deep baseline floater and banks it in. 
tough shot from Cam Thomas. Got it to go down as the shot clock expired. The Knicks played great defense for the entirety of the 24 seconds, but just a good offensive player making a great shot. Josh Hart hands it off to Burks coming down the lane. Tried to draw the foul, but it's out of bounds on the Nets as he couldn't get the layup to go over Claxton. 8-10 to go. Nostalgic Nick, what lineup is in? We'll get to it right after they come back. <clears throat> Nick's inbounding it. Brunton is into the game. Bogdanovich also lines up a three. Rattles it in. Okay, bogey. Come on, get to it. We need you, my guy. We need you. The Knicks have Brunton, McBride, Bogdanovich, I Hart, and Josh Hart. Cam Thomas coming down the lane, lays it up with the right hand, can't get it to go, but a foul on Bogdanovich. The Nets have Cam Thomas, Schroeder, Dorian Finney-Smith, Nick Claxton, and Mikhail Bridges. Tied at 36, Cam Thomas at the foul line for two. We're under eight minutes to go. Student said, sometimes you have to admit that some of these players just suck. I mean, it is what it is. They're struggling, definitely. <clears throat> but, gotta play better. <laughs> like, they're out on the court wearing a Knicks uniform. I'm going to root for their success. There's no point in being negative. We got eyes. We could see it's not going well. I'm rooting for their success. As long as they're playing for the Knicks, I'm going to root for your success. Cam Thomas at the foul line. Knocks down both free throws. And Brunson will bring it down. Brunson has it up top, being guarded by Bridges, 7.50 to go. Coming to his left, he's got some space, hesitation dribble, step back, pump fake, step through, picks his dribble up, gets it out to Hart, now over to Harnstein, Harnstein fakes the handoff, coming down the lane, goes right into Claxton, flips it up with the left hand, gets it to go, okay, Harnstein, very comfortable lately, but that little flip shot with the left hand, his strong hand. Schroeder coming down the lane, crosses over to his left, throws the lob. Harnstein saw it coming all the way, tips it away. Here comes Brunson bringing it down. They got the numbers advantage. Over to McBride, left corner three in transition. Gets it, that go down. Deuce McBride, he's been on one here tonight. And the Knicks up three, and it's a turnover by the Nets. <clears throat> Rushing the inbounds. Can't corral, it's out of bounds. 7.15 to go. So the Knicks will retain possession here. Rudy, what's up, Rudy? Steven Chins over to Josh Hart. Josh Hart has it up top. Over to Brunson. Brunson being guarded by Bridges. Coming to his left around the Hornstein screen. Stops, turns, pivots, half spins, spins again. Puts up the fader, can't get it to go. Steven Chins off into the rebound, puts it up and in. Yes, sir. The Knicks starting to get some things rolling once, once you know, majority of the starters got back into the game. The late game morning on DiVincenzo, who slapped the ball away after he made the layup. And the Nets are going to call a timeout. They want to talk it over. <clears throat> Nostalgic, Nick, that we need you, Bowie, on. We do. We do. We're running out of options here. No Randall, no Ananobi, no Robinson. You traded Grimes, you traded quickly, you traded RJ. You're running out of options here. Running out of options. <clears throat> you know, we didn't trade for you to, to be okay. Traded you to be a punch off the bench. And he has not really been that. He had a game or two here and there where he was, you know, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Made an impact off the bench. It's been mostly misses than hits. It's been mostly misses than hits. So we need him to step up. Uh, Rudy. Uh, Shake Milton available to play. He is. He is available. Shake Milton is avail available to play, Rudy. Uh, how come he's not being used? Uh, he's another guard that could shoot and penetrate just thinking. Um, I mean, he just hasn't really been good. Right? He was kind of in and out of the rotation with Philly. You know, he had some good moments, but 
some not so good moments, and he was kind of, he was in and out of the rotation. He was a consistent rotation player for them. Signed to Minnesota in the offseason. They had ideas of like you could be the backup guard when you know Conley comes out. You could run the show. You could be an off guard. You could play off ball, play off of Edwards, play off of Towns. And he was terrible in Minnesota this year to the point where they just kind of benched him. They were like, we can't play you. You're not good. You're making our team worse when you're in the game. Um, and then eventually they just waived him. Right, so they signed him in the offseason to be like a legit contributor to the team, and he couldn't do so. Um, and they waived him, and then they kind of picked him up just for a little bit of depth, right? Should any unfortunate injuries occur again, um, he got a little bit more depth out of the guard with a veteran guard who like has played significant minutes in the NBA, who maybe you could rely on. But at this point in his career, um, he's not really he's not really a good player. You know, he's he's okay. He can fill in every now and again, but he's He's showing himself to not be a good rotational player. <clears throat> you know, unless there is an injury to one of our guards and we're down another guard on the injury list, I don't think Tom Thibodeau is going to look at Jake Milton as the answer. Nostalgic Nick said, Deuce has a lot of fans. A lot of fans. Deuce is on fire, Kenny. He is. <laughs> Everybody's shouting out Deuce. d said some players play better in the woods. Bernard Johnson was up, my guy. Mark, what's up, Mark? Just wanted to drop in and say a uh, leave a like and say code Nix. Uh, it's my son's V-Day party. So a lot of outdoor basketball in Fortnite with seven graders to lose. Shepard. Appreciate you, Mark. Go enjoy your time with your family, my guy. We're back into the game. Mikhail Bridges gets into the lane, knocks down a floater. 43 to 40, 630 to go here. Josh Hart has it up top over to Brunson. Brunson being guarded by Bridges, coming to his left off of Josh Hart's screen. Cam Johnson switches on to him. Brunson crosses over to his right, leans in, leans in, kicks it out up top to McBride, who's coming to his left, hands it off to do, uh, DiVincenzo, gets to the foul line, puts up the jumper with the shot clock winding down, gets it to go down. Okay, Devo. Schroeder bringing it down. James Sumler, what's up, James? Schroeder has it up top, being guarded by Brunson. Kicks it in the corner to... That's not Cam Johnson, is it? That's not Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson has it up top. Peck over to Schroeder. I'm not sure who that guy is. Schroeder bringing it down. Gets blocked by Hardenstein. Tipped out of bounds and staying with the Knicks. Or going to the Knicks. Who is that for the Nets? Who's in the game right now? Jalen Win, Win, uh, Jalen Wilson is in the game for the for the Nets. Got it, got it. Brunson bringing it down. Josh Hart up top, hands it off to Brunson. Cam uh, Jalen Wilson switches on to Brunson. Brunson dribble pull up three over Wilson off the back rim, can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Josh Hart kept it alive, but Schroeder is going to pick it up. And Mikhail Bridges is going to bring it down. 45 to 40, hit ahead pass to Cam Johnson, leaves it off for Bridges, puts up the three in transition, off the back rim, can't get it to go, fight for the rebound, tipped out. Schroeder able to corral it over to Johnson, deep straightaway three for Johnson, hits the side of the rim, goes out of bounds. And Claxton tries to save it, but it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to, ball is going to go back to the Knicks here. Brunson's going to bring it down. Brunson has it up top, being guarded by Bridges, coming to his left, gets past Bridges. Cross-court pass, McBride wide open again for three. Air balls that time. He was too open that time. Knocked out of bounds. Jericho Sims tried to grab the offensive rebound, knocked out of bounds by the Nets. Ball's going to remain with the Knicks. Five-point lead for the Knicks, 45-40. to 40. Under five minutes to go. Brunson gets it into DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo puts up the three as Claxton slipped and fell down. Jericho sends off in the rebound, and he missed the layup. Jericho, he's been terrible tonight. Come on, Jericho. You can't be missing layups like that. Jalen Wilson gets down the lane. He misses the layup. Jericho sends with the rebound. He's bringing it down, leaves it off for Brunson. Brunson coming to his left, leaves it off for DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo, pump fakes. Back to Brunson. He's got Schroeder on him. Brunson says, clear out. I'll go one-on-one. -on -one. Going to back him down. 
Spins, coming to his left, puts up the floater, gets it to go off glass. I mean, you can't guard the guy one-on-one. <laughs> we know this. <clears throat> they, the Nets push in the pace. Jalen Wilson gets open from the left corner. The Knicks kind of leave him open, daring him to shoot. Jalen Wilson knocks down the three, making him pay. 43-47, to four-point game, four minutes to go. DiVincenzo up top to Brunson. Brunson waving him off, going one-on-one against Claxton. Brunson. In the corner, McBride, no hesitation, catch and shoot three, off the back rim, can't get it to go, fight for the rebound, Wilson pulls it down, he's bringing it down, leaves it off for Schroeder, Schroeder over to Bridges, Bridges, in and out dribble, coming to his left, kicks it out to Schroeder, inside pass to Bridges, Bridges, ooh, tried to hit the no look pass, Jalen Wilson cut across the lane, and then Devin Chinzo and the Knicks on the pass break, just loses the handle, here comes the Nets, Cam Johnson, right wing three, knocks it down, you knew that one was going down. Oh, brother. Brunson on the left wing, being guarded by Schroeder. Brunson backing him down. He likes this matchup, leans in, pump fake, step through, puts up the floater, gets blocked by Claxton. Brunson upset, saying it should have been a goaltend, but here come the Nets. And the ball poked out of Wilson's hands, and it's off of Wilson. Ball going to the Knicks. Okay, at least they're going to get it back. Three minutes to go here. Two-point game. They can show the replay on the Brunton floater. Looks pretty clean to me. Looks pretty clean to me. Josh Hart over to McBride, over to Brunson. Brunson. Jab step. Coming to his right. Leans in. Pump fakes. Cross court to DiVincenzo. Catches. Fires. Bad pass. DiVincenzo can't save the possession. Can't knock down the three. <clears throat> here comes Dennis Schroeder bringing it down. Has it up top. Over to Johnson. 2.30 to go here in the uh, second quarter. Nick Claxton in the paint. Spins off a couple of Knicks defenders and knocks down a lefty layup. Josh Hart pushing the other way. Tied at 47. Going attacking. Going to the basket. Takes the contact. Lays it up and in with the right hand. There you go. We needed that. Need Josh Hart to be a little bit more offensive focused than he has been. Uh, Christian Goris. What's up, Christian? Bernard Johnson, we need to take care of the ball much better. They definitely do. They've been kind of just turning it over all willy-nilly. Can't be this careless with the ball. 2.20 to go. Josh Hart at the foul line for one more. That's got one more point than they should. 49 to 47. And Josh Hart misses a free throw. The missed free throw is killing us. Foul on Jericho Sims, fighting for the rebound over Claxton. I mean, what are, what are the free throws at this point? What are the free throws at this point? The Knicks are 4 for 8 from the free throw line. Mikhail Bridges up top, hands it off to Cam Thomas, over to Schroeder, over to Claxton. Claxton almost lost it, picks it back up, coming to his right. Over to Bridges, coming to his left, off the Claxton screen. Josh Hart sticking with him, fade away. DiVincenzo came over to help, can't knock it down. Loose ball, Schroeder able to corral it. He's bringing it down, coming to his right. Scoop layup, leaves it off for Claxton. It's a turnover. Bad pass from Schroeder. Good defense from the Knicks. Jules, what's up, Jules? Welcome back, welcome back. Josh Hart over to McBride, McBride. Over to DiVincenzo. High post to Sims. Back out to Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Hands it off to Brunson. Brunson. Putting the dribble moves on Cam Johnson. Now he switched on to him. Hesitation dribble. Goes right into Johnson. Johnson got a little too handsy. Foul on Cam Johnson. Has three fouls. Picked up the two early. Finally picks up a third one here. 130 here in the second. DiVincenzo into Brunson, fakes the pass to DiVincenzo, Brunson gets space, mid-range pull-up jumper, gets it to go. I mean, that's what JB does. That's what we expect him to do. Four-point lead for the Knicks, 51-47, to under 130 to go, under 90 seconds. Schroeder has it up top. Over to Cam Thomas, coming to his left, off of one leg, kicks it in the corner, bridges wide open, rattles into three. You can't leave him open, Josh. You know you can't leave him open. That's your boy. You know you can't leave him open. Brunson on the right wing, 
Coming to his left. Claxton switches on to him. Brunson's going to attack again. Coming to his left. Scoop layup with the left hand. Can't get it to go down. Brunson's missed some easy ones around the basket tonight. Cam Johnson bringing it down. One point game. Under a minute to go. Cam Johnson gets fouled by Brunson going to the basket. Brunson's been up and down. Been up and down. Russell Field. What's up, Russell? I'm here. Morning, Knicks. <laughs> Uh, I'm not a fan of these early start games, man. Basketball should be a prime time event, especially when the Knicks. <laughs> MBM, we should have 107 likes. So it's good. Uh, appreciate everybody who's come out to the stream tonight. If you have yet to hit the like button uh, so far, please go down and hit that thumbs up button. It's located right below the video. You can see it looks like this. It looks like a thumbs up. If you hit that button, all it really does is help support the stream. Helps grow it, helps spread the stream out to more people so we can get more people uh, here in the chat. More people always equals more fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Jules said, I look for Josh to redeem himself from the other night he stunk. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't great. He wasn't great. <clears throat> Need a good Josh Hart night tonight. I'd like to th when he's aggressive offensively, the Knicks are much better with him on the court. Brunson kicks it to DiVincenzo in the corner. Finally knocks down another one, DiVincenzo. Okay. Under 30 seconds to go. Knicks back up by two. 54 to 52. Cam Thomas has it up top, winding down the clock as much as he can. There's about a seven-second difference between game clock and shot clock. Thomas crosses over to his left off the Claxton screen, feeds Claxton, hands it back off to Thomas, coming to his right. He's got some space going downhill. High layup with the right hand, gets it to go down. Over McBride and Jericho Sims, who were both right there to contest. Eight seconds to go. DiVincenzo rushing it down. Hesitation dribble. Crosses over to his left. Leans right in. Throws a high floater. He bangs in a tough high floater. Why would shot from DiVincenzo? He was looking for the, to draw the foul. Got the shot to go down anyway. Mikhail Bridges is going to uh, throw it from half court. And he knocked it down. Oh, man. Mikhail just throws it up and he gets it to go. <laughs> And that's going to take us to halftime with the Nets taking a one-point lead off of a crazy, it's like three-quarters court for Mikhail Bridges, who shot it from the opposite three-point line, got the three to go down. Uh, so it's 57 to 56. Forgot to count the Cam Thomas, too. 57 to 56, the Nets with a one-point lead going into halftime. I mean, the three-point shooting has been crazy. Capped off by a three-quarters court heave from Mikhail Bridges. Uh, Susan and uh, MGM reminding people to hit the like button. Appreciate everybody. Really appreciate you guys, man. MBM said, if we continue to miss free throws. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Four for eight from the line. 50% from the free throw line is just when you take an eight. It's just not good enough. Not even close to being good enough. Susan said, some players are playing lackadaisical. Uh, they're definitely tired. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, the defense isn't really there. Playing a lot of minutes. Coming off the West Coast road trip. Fresh off the plane. Playing against the Nets. Early start game. Just throws off your circadian rhythm. <laughs> you know. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, the defense definitely isn't there tonight. The Nets with 57 first half points for a team that's not really good. Cam Johnson's hit three threes. He is up to 11 points. Mikhail Bridges up to 11 points. He's hit three threes as well. <clears throat> Claxton four and three. Schroeder's four. Four, five, and three. Uh, Cam Thomas with 10. And then off the bench, they got nine from Lonnie Walker. Good minutes from him. Five from Dayron Sharp. Fantastic minutes from him as the backup big. Lonnie Walker got to the foul line. He's got one point. Dennis the Jr. played um, pretty solid. He's got one point. He played pretty solid defense. It was okay. Uh, Jalen Smith got two points. And uh, Dory Finney-Smith didn't really do much out there. Didn't Hardly noticed he was out there. Uh, so their defense is kind of bleeding points. They're giving up open shots. They're 7-14 from three. 22 of 41 from the floor, so over 50% from both three and the field. As far as the Knicks, 
10 for 23 from three. Uh, 43 and a half percent, 21 for 51 from the field, 41 percent. So the Nets, you know, they're taking two and offensively. They, they're getting what they want. They're knocking down shots. The Knicks struggling a little bit. Brunson's four for 12, you know, for 10 points. Six assists, though, but not a great shooting night from Brunson. He's struggling a little bit. Didn't knock down the two threes. He's two for three from three. Deuce McBride's got to go in a little bit. He's four for seven from three, five for eight from the field for 16 points. He's leading us in scoring, actually. Uh, Demon Chindle with 14. He stepped up tonight. He's playing pretty good. 5% from the field, 2 for 5 from 3, 3 boards, 2 assists. Josh Hart with 2 points, 2 boards, 2 assists. You need a little bit more from Josh. Uh, just in the sense that, like, I'm not looking stats-wise for more from him. Uh, just impact-wise, I know he's playing a lot of minutes. I know he's probably exhausted and tired. He's doing all the dirty work. But 2 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. It's not good enough. I'd like him to be a lot more aggressive offensively, like go to the basket, take some shots. He's 1 for 4, 0 for 1 from 3. I don't know. You're, you're big and strong, and you're a good finisher around the rim. Like, get to the basket. Put your head down. Get to the basket. Get fouled. Get to the foul line. Um, not really doing a whole lot of that recently. And then uh, our bench, not doing so great. <laughs> Struggling themselves. Uh, Alec Burks is 2 for 8. Did knock down a three. Okay, we'll take it. He had four wide open looks. He made one of them. So he's one for four from three. Uh, for five points, a rebound and an assist. Okay. I like a little bit more from Alec Burks. Two for eight is just not good enough. Although, at least it's something. You look at Bogdanovich, he's one for two from three. Both of his shots come from three-point line. He's one for two from the field. Uh, for three points, a rebound and an assist. Uh, also, like, some not some great turnovers from the bench. Uh, some silly fouls. From Bogdanovich, some not great defense from Bogdanovich. Just got to be better overall. I mean, we're at a point where it's like, I'm begging you to please help the team win some basketball games. Please, poor favor. I'm begging you. <clears throat> we're all begging you. Look at my mans. He is begging you. Please, knock down some shots. Uh, I miss Ananobi and Randall so much. <laughs> it's been too long. It's been too long. Bernard said, not playing defense will not win this game. <clears throat> Absolutely. They, uh, that's again whatever they want offensively gotta wake up defensively i know it's difficult i know you're mismatched i know you're undermanned i don't care <laughs> go go play better defense defense was not good even with the personnel that you have it was not good even chinzo got blown by a couple times brunson being taken advantage of although you expect that a little bit um bogdanovich got got torched defensively as well so come on Uh, Shirley, what's up, Shirley Willis? Welcome back, welcome back. Knicks better win this game. They are jet lagged. Maybe, possibly, definitely a possibility, right? Coming off the West Coast road trip. But, I mean, it's the Nets. <laughs> now, the Nets, have, have, you know, they're going to get up and play this game because it's the crosstown rivalry between the Knicks and the Nets. So of course, you're going to get up to play in Madison Square Garden. But, what are you, what are we doing? What are we doing? Don't lose this game to the Brooklyn Nets, please. MBM abysmal. <laughs> uh, Susan, uh, Coach Sheffy, they should let you be uh, heard in the Knicks locker room during halftime. I don't think they want to hear from me. They know what they got to do. They know what they got to do. Ahem. <clears throat> MBM said, Tibbs will make the necessary adjustments. I hope so. Open so. Jay Tap, uh, that hoodie is tough. Appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate you. One of my favorite Knicks hoodies that I own. It was a gift a couple of years ago. I have no idea where they got it from. I think they got it from the NBA store at the mall um, around where I live, which I will not reveal. <laughs> um... But there's an NBA store around where I live, and I think that's where they got it from. I think. I've never been in that store, but 
Uh, it was a gift. And it's my favorite hood, Nick's hoodie that I own. It literally does not leave the house because I refuse to get it dirty, right? The only time I wear it is when I'm in this room on camera. <laughs> That's the only time I throw it on. Uh, other than that, I keep it nice and pristine, beautifully folded. Uh, most of the time hung up on the hanger, but sometimes beautifully folded right on my, my clothes rack over there. Um. <clears throat> Susan said, Sheffy got me crying. I'm missing OG Mitchell Robinson and Randall. I mean, it's just been so long. I get the Randall thing. Can I get OG and Mitch back, please? Please, por favor. Por favor, please. Can we get Mitch and OG back? I can't wait. I can't wait <clears throat> to have those guys back on the defensive end. Teams, they may not score over 50 with OG and, and uh, Robinson back in the lineup. Between 48 minutes of Robinson and um, and Hartenstein, and you throw OG out there, and you got 48 minutes of OG and Josh Hart wreaking havoc defensively, I mean, teams may not score over 50. We may be the first team to hold teams to under 70 points for an entire season. I can't wait. I can't wait for these guys to get healthy, which at this point means I can't wait for next year. I'm already thinking about next year, which I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, right? I, I need to enjoy this season. But to me, it's feeling a little bit like a lost season because of these injuries, right? They're pretty severe injuries. All three guys, uh, Randall hasn't gotten surgery yet, but at this point, you, you just know he's getting surgery, right? <clears throat> um, so all three guys having to get surgery uh, because of the injuries they suffered during this year is just, you know, like it's... It's just not your year. You got hit by the injury bug, and it's been rough. It's been rough. MBM said, you know it's jet lag when heart is smoked. Yeah, I mean, he is playing like 40 minute, 40, uh, 48 minutes a game. He's averaging over 40. He's playing like 42 minutes a game. Averaging 42 minutes a game. Um, so you know that's, that's hurting him. <laughs> uh, alongside of going on the West Coast road trip and then coming back to the East is always difficult. Bernard Johnson, let's go next third quarter. Got to go on a big run here in the third. Extend the lead a little bit. Go into the fourth with like at least like an eight to ten point lead, please. Please. I'm begging at this point. You guys hear me begging tonight. I mean, this afternoon. It's not tonight. This afternoon. I'm begging these Knicks for something. Please. <clears throat> MBN, uh, Bogey's just taking up space. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... Would you rather have Bogdanovich or Grimes? And listen, it's a trade they had to make because the relationship with Grimes had deteriorated to the point where you knew you weren't going to keep him, right? His rookie contract extension's coming up, so you knew you're not going to keep him. So trade him while his value is still pretty high. Um, keep the vibes going because he was clearly not happy with, with his role on the team or whatever he wasn't happy with. Um, so you had to trade him. They decided to trade him for Bogdanovich and Burks, which is, was really just, hey, we like the Bogdanovich contract and we think we could use him in a trade this summer. Um, I'd be surprised if Bogdanovich comes back to this team after this year. I'd be very surprised. Uh, but at this point, like, look, he's wearing a Knicks jersey. So you got to play better. Like, there's, I don't know what else you want me to say. Play better. I know you can. I've seen you play pretty well this season. Right when you were with Detroit. Now I get that was like on a losing team with losing tendencies, and you know the ball was in your hands, and you were very comfortable, and you could do pretty much whatever you wanted without, you know, feeling like you were taken away from your teammates because they were relying on you. And when you come here, it's like, oh wait, I have to fit into a system. Like I have to play off of these guys. I have to play off of Brunson and Divincenzo and Hart and Harnstein and Achua and Ananobi. And all these guys, like, the ball is not going to be in my hands. I need to be a catch-and-shoot guy. And I know it's different. And I know he's never really come off the bench, and he's coming off the bench now. I know it's different. I get it. You can't be this. He's averaging, like, five points. You can't be this. Uh, Sue said, got me crying like Embiid. <laughs> uh. All right, it looks like we're getting ready to check back in after this third quarter. Here we go. Here we go. 
Susan, we got this game, y'all. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I mean, you don't lose to the Nets, please. Of any team, don't lose to the Nets. Susan said, next season, please stop, Chevy. I now I definitely need to shoot. Uh, I, I'm i going to try and steer away from, from next season talks. Um, it's clearly not our year, but we got to enjoy uh, what's left of, of the road year, right? Get to the playoffs as healthy as you can. It's not going to be very healthy, but get to the playoffs as healthy as you can. Get Ananobi on the court. Get Robinson on the court. We'll see what goes on with Randall. Just go get the surgery at this point, Julius. Just go get the surgery at this point. That way you could heal up enough so you can, you know, have a good enough offseason and come back strong next year. Because it's not looking promising. MBM said, uh, almost all Nick Barrow is worn. Just started buying back. <laughs> uh, I always try to wear as much Nick's apparel for, for the game as possible. Right? Whether it's my socks, uh, my pants, my Nick sweats. Uh, you guys see the hoodie, the shirts. I always try and rock the hats. Always try and rock the Knicks hats uh, for the game. Just you know, doing my part as much as I can, right? Trying to give as much positive energy. Trying to keep the vibes going. Trying to give them the good juju. Uh, MBM, Sheffy, we are a better team than last year. Uh, Randall was hobbled in Miami. We have a better bench and seasoned ballers. Yeah, but the team is hurt way worse than they were last year. You know, at least the team was somewhat healthy other than Julius Randle going into the playoffs. This year, um, Harnstein is hobbled with the Achilles. He's still in the minutes restriction. Harnstein, um, Mitchell Robinson's been out for over two months. He's not going to be in shape going into the playoffs. He's going to be a little bit hobbled. Uh, Ananobi's clearly going to be a little bit hobbled going into the playoffs. I hope not, but it's looking like it's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, and then Julius Randle, even if he comes back. At this point, it's an if. I was pretty confident that he would come back because why would they put out all those feelers like, oh, he's going to work to come back. If he wasn't going to come back, he's still probably going to come back. But at, at what? At what condition? He's going to be way less effective than he was last year. And he was already pretty, um, his effectiveness was already pretty limited last year. So they're just hurting. They're, we are a better team, much better team than we were last year. But we're way more hobbled, too, going into the playoffs. Now, we still have about three weeks left before the playoffs. So, four weeks, right? So, we got three weeks before the season ends, and then we got a week off because of the play-in games. So, we got some time, at least. At least. So, hopefully, you guys can get healthy by then. Hopefully. We're back into the game here. Jalen Brunson, step back, jumper can't get it to go. Harnstein with the offensive rebound and put back and one, though. That's a good way to start the third quarter. Being, being them up on the glass. MBM said, you got to believe, Sheffy. I believe. I will believe it when these guys are back on the court. <laughs> right? Once they're back on the court, then I'm, you, you're going to see me jump out the window. I'm all in once we're back on the court. But we got to get there first. Mikhail Bridges up top, coming to his left off the Cam Thomas screen, gets to the mid-range, knocks down the floater. Brunson bringing it down. Over to DiVincenzo, being guarded by Schroeder. Tried to get it in the Harnstein, knocked away. DiVincenzo picks it back up, coming to his left, dribble pull up three in the left wing. Off the back rim, long rebound. Cam Thomas pulls it down, he's going to bring it down. Steps back, pump fakes, over to Schroeder on the right wing, being guarded by Deuce. Coming to his left, off a couple of screens, stops in the mid-range, coming down the lane, scoop lay with the right hand, can't get it to go, fight for the rebound. Claxton gets fouled on the tip attempt. Under 11 minutes. Claxton going to the foul line for two, I believe, and the Nets are up one, 59-58. Let's start the early second half here. <clears throat> Claxton at the foul line for two free throws. Misses the first one. He's got one more coming.
Nate Claxton misses the first one, knocks down the second one, splits the pair, and Brunson will bring it down. So two-point deficit for the Knicks early here in the third quarter. Come on. Come on. Steven Chinzo has it up top. Over to Brunson. Brunson being guarded by Bridges. Coming to his right. Goes past Bridges. Scoop lay up with the uh, left hand. Gets it to go on the right side. Okay. JB's got to get cooking a little bit here. Come on. <clears throat> Schroeder has it up top being guarded by Brunson. 10.30 to go here in the third. Nets walk into their spots here. Can they get a good shot? We're under 10 to go on the shot clock. Claxon hands it off the bridges, coming to his left, stops, pump fakes, kicks it up top to Schroeder, pump fakes. Brunson goes for it, kicks it. Right corner three for Cam Johnson, can't get the three to go. Brunson with the rebound. Brunson fakes the handoff, Schroeder's going to pick him up. Brunson's going to put him on his hip, and a foul on Schroeder. <coughs> Ty, what's up, Ty? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We need a few uh, good men. Uh, my use on me take. Let's go, Knicks. Okay. Brunson up top. Coming to his left off the Hardenstein screen. Claxton's going to switch onto him. Crosses over to his left. Hesitation dribble. Goes to his floater. Off glass. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Hardenstein keeping it alive. Josh Hart keeps it alive, but Cam Thomas pulls it down. And he's going to bring it down. Dribble pull up straight away three for Cam Thomas off the back rim. Terrible shot. Steven Chinzo with the rebound. Brunson up top, over to DiVincenzo, over to McBride, right corner three, no hesitation, comes up short. Mikhail Bridges with the rebound, bringing it down, tied at 60, 9.30 to go. Bridges over to Johnson up top, over to Schroeder on the left wing. Schroeder over to Claxton, back to Schroeder. Schroeder coming to his right, and foul, McBride fouls Claxton, fighting over the screen. <clears throat> welcome, Ty, welcome, welcome, welcome. Susan said, I have my gloves ready. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be one of those games. MBM said, OG can't play through pain. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Bridges over to Claxton. Hands it off to Bridges. Coming to his left. Getting downhill. Over to Cam Thomas. Pump fakes. Driving it down. Gets to the foul line. Throws up a jumper. And gets fouled by Devin Chinzel, so he's going to the foul line for two. Soon said these early games don't agree with the Knicks. They don't. They don't. It's also pretty difficult when the early game is coming right off of your West Coast road trip. Pretty difficult scheduling. Got to battle through it, though. Got to come out with the win. Cam Thomas at the foul line. Knocks down the first free throw. He's got one more coming. And Cam Thomas. Ball rattled around a little bit, but did end up falling for him. Knocks down both free throws. Brunson's going to bring it down. MBM is deuces in. He is in. The Knicks with their starting five that they started the game with. Brunson, Deuce, DiVincenzo, Hart, and Hartenstein. Brunson, a couple of crossovers. Stops, turns, pivots, kicks it up top to Hart. Hart has it on the left wing. Kicks it up top to Brunson. Shot clock winding down. Brunson, sidestep, pump fake, kicks it out. McBride, right wing three. Shot clock winding down. Comes up short, long rebound. Back out to Deuce. Deuce going through. And scoop layup with the left hand. Beautiful move from McBride. Ball careen right back to him. He took advantage of it. Tied at 62. McBride continues to lead us in scoring with 18 here tonight. Cam Thomas has it up top being guarded by McBride. Coming to his right, getting downhill. Lost it, got blocked. Great defense from McBride. Devin Chinzo over to Josh Hart. Josh Hart going right down past Schroeder, lays it up and in with the right hand. Beautiful move. There you go, Josh. Get down, transition. Get the, get the, get the layup to go. Come on, we need it. Get it to the basket. Schroeder bringing it down. Has it on the left wing. Coming to his right, coming up top. Josh Hart guarding him. Schroeder has it up top, slowing it down a little bit. Crossing over to his right, stops, turns, spins, pump fakes. Over to Claxton, back to Schroeder, coming down, pump fakes, up top. Cam Johnson. And a three-second violation on Nick Claxton. So it's a turnover. Ball going back to the Knicks. You rarely see the offensive three seconds. 
You'll rarely see it. Brunson bringing it down. So Brunson has it up top. Backing down Schroeder. Gets to the foul line. Stops, turns, pivots. And they call the travel on Brunson. <clears throat> just drag that pivot forward just a bit. Schroeder has it up top, coming to his right off the Claxton screen. Over to Claxton. Has it up top, trying to get at the Bridges. Over to Bridges with McBride on him. Height mismatch there. Bridges coming to his left, off the screen. Kicks it out to Schroeder, right wing three. His first three of the game gets it to go. The three-point shooting for the Nets continues to be in fuego tonight. Brunson has it up top. Left side of the court being guarded by Bridges. Brunson. Coming to his right, off a couple of screens, over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo leans in, takes some contact, a little fadeaway out of the mid-range, can't get it to go, fight for the rebound. And Dorian Finney-Smith fouls Hornstein, trying to keep him off the glass, can't though. Seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. Brooklyn with a one-point lead, both teams going back and forth here. Susan, third quarter rising to fourth quarter. Sean, got to pick up the play here, got to pick up the play here. Waiting on the third quarter rising. Both teams going back and forth. Come on, Knicks. Brunson has it up top. Coming to his right. Hesitation dribble. Crossing over to his left on Bridges. Gets down the lane. Throws up the floater. Can't get it to go down. Josh Hart with the rebound after Harnstein kept it alive. Over to Harnstein. Little flip shot. Gets it to go down again for Isaiah Harnstein. <clears throat> Bridges has it on the left side of the court. Out by the three-point line, coming to his right, getting downhill, in the lane, pocket pass to Claxton, turns it over, and then Harnstein tried to give McBride the outlet pass, wasn't expecting it to turn over, they hit Bridges in the corner, and he knocks down the three, you knew that one was going down. Wide open, in rhythm, Knicks, you, you had your opportunity there, and you turned it over. Brunson on the left wing, coming to his right, stops, kicks it out to Hart, swings it out to DiVincenzo, in the right corner, pump fake, Schroeder getting up into him. Coming to his right, goes past him, gets caught in the air, kicks out to McBride, extra pass, Josh Hart, open for three. Can't get it to go. Can't get it to go. Come on, Josh. Wide open shots. Mikhail Bridges, over to Schroeder, over to Dorian Finney-Smith, going right at Brunson, along the baseline. Good defense for Brunson, keeping him out of the paint. Out to Bridges, pump fakes, driving to his left, gets caught in the air, deflected, but Schroeder picks it up. Pump fakes, coming to his left, one dribble, puts up the three over Deuce, can't get it to go. DiVincenzo with the rebound, here comes Brunson. We are under the halfway point, under six minutes. Brunson in and out dribble, gets to the lane, throws up the floater. Can't get it to stay down. The shot's not going down for Brunson tonight. It's been an all, a rare off night for Jalen Brunson. Mikhail Bridges has it up top, coming to his right off the Claxton screen, throws up the floater. Can't get it. He does get it to go. Soft touch for, for Brooklyn. Lead up to four for Brooklyn, 70 to 66. Brunson and Tom Thibodeau and the Knicks. Going to call a timeout here, 5.13 to go. Not a great third quarter overall. <clears throat> Some sloppy, sloppy basketball here in the early matinee game. MBM said early, early doesn't agree with me. Me either, man. It, it's just like smack dab in the middle of the day. Like, what can you do? You can't do anything. <laughs> what else can you do? In the morning, you're setting up for the game, and then you watch the game, and then by the time the game ends, it's already 3 o'clock. You know, the day is pretty much over. Nostalgic Knicks to get this lineup out. Got to make some substitutions. We're at the five-minute mark. Harnstein's going to come out. Jericho Sims was at the scores table. He's going to check in. We'll see who else comes in. Probably Alec Burks, who at least made some shots in that first half. Ty said it's only one... Um, Basketball in New York City, New Jersey is still open. The Nets will always be a Jersey team. Always. They have no home in Brooklyn. It's weird. It is really strange. They got to get an identity. Quick. They have no identity. 
They have no personality on the team. They have no nothing that shines forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Susan said, if I'm guardable, Brunson is off. The rest of the team needs to step up. Exactly. That's why you have a team, right? So when one guy is having an off night, it happens. 82-game regular season, you're not going to be on every night. When one guy's having an off night, you can rely on the others, right? McBride stepped up. He's done his parts. Harnstein's done his part. Even Chinzo's done his part. You need some more from Josh Hart. And you're really going to need some, which is why I said it earlier, you're really going to need some from Bogdanovich and Burks off the bench. Right? Five points and three points, eight points total from, you know, your two bench scores is not enough. You need a little bit more here. Just a smidge. MEM said, Brooklyn, our dogs don't sleep. I don't know if they're dogs. They Look, they get up to play the Knicks because you have to. You have to get up to play the Knicks. <laughs> you can't get embarrassed by the Knicks. Uh, and the Knicks can't get embarrassed by Brooklyn. So it's always going to be a good game. But <clears throat> even with all the injuries, the Knicks are a better team than Brooklyn. <laughs> all right, here we go. Checking back in after the timeout. They get it into Josh Hart. The Knicks come out with the same lineup except Sims in for Hartenstein. Brunson up top, hesitation dribble, getting down the lane, stops, turns, pump fakes, kicks it out to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo up top, coming to his right off the Brunson screen. Bridges switches onto him. DiVincenzo is going to attack him off the dribble. Crosses over to his left, scoop layup with the right hand, gets it to go down. Awkward looking layup from DiVincenzo, but he got it to go. We'll take it. Schroeder has it up top, being guarded by Brunson. Over to Sharp in the high post. The Nets come out. <clears throat> Cam Thomas. Mid-range foul line pull-up jumper. The Knicks lost him, and he knocks it down. The Nets come out with Dorian Finney-Smith, Mikhail Bridges, Dayron Sharp, Cam Thomas, and Dennis Schroeder. Josh Hart has it up top, being guarded by Finney-Smith. Over to Sims. Hands it off to Brunson. Brunson up top, being guarded by Bridges. Coming to his left. They show two defenders. Now they get back. Bridges one-on-one -on -one against Brunson. Step back. Mid-range jumper. Comes up short. Been an off night for JB. Head head past the Bridges. Bridges crosses over to his right. They bring a double team. Gets it out to Schroeder. Schroeder. They swing it around. Cam Thomas. Left wing three. Over McBride. Can't get it to go. And Brunson bringing it down off the rebound. Out to Josh Hart. Extra pass. McBride. Right corner three. Gets it to go. No hesitation. I love when Deuce McBride doesn't even hesitate. There's a defender right in front of his face. Doesn't matter. I'm going to take this and make this. Deuce McBride with the three. Cuts it to a one point lead. 72 to 71. 3.45 to go. Schroeder coming down, lays it up and in with the left hand over Brunson. Brunson bringing it down. Has it up top, being guarded by Bridges. Peter, what's up, Peter? Coming down, takes some contact, throws it with the basket, can't get it to go, but Brunson tips it up and in with the one hand. Okay. Okay. Nothing's going down. Got the second one to go, though. Schroeder has it up top. Over to Finney Smith. Over to Cam Thomas on the right wing, being guarded by Deuce. Spinning, coming to his right. Josh Hart shows to kick it out. Finney Smith, right wing three, wide open. Can't get it to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. He's bringing it down. Josh Hart over to DiVincenzo. Straight away, deep three. Rolls off the side of the rim. Can't get it to stay. Cam Thomas bringing it down. Nets with a one-point lead. Cam Thomas stops at the foul line. Pull up jumper off the back rim. Long rebound. Josh Hart picks it up. It's a two-on-two. -two. Over to DiVincenzo. Leaves it off for Brunson. Deep three, switches it. Okay. Okay. That was an awkward-looking fast break, but they got the three to go. Peter said almost missed the game. Well, you didn't really miss much. Not going to lie. Been a, been a little bit of a sloppy game. A little bit. Schroeder over to Cam Thomas, driving it down. Goes right in, leans in, kicks it out. Bridges out of the corner for three. It's not going in. Misses it. Josh Hart with the rebound. He's pushing it to three on three. Josh Hart, hesitation dribble, going right at Schroeder, gets caught under the basket, kicks it out to Brunson, extra pass to DiVincenzo, swings it over, Deuce McBride for three, comes up short. Got lined me up with that one, Deuce. But Josh Hart fighting for the rebound, keeps it alive as the out-of-bounds on Finney Smith. The ball is going to stay with the Knicks. 
and timeout for the Nets as the crowd is starting to get into it, and you could feel it. The Knicks starting to force some turnovers here and getting out and running. Ty said this game is too early, way too early. I hate these early start games. Not a fan at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Excuse me, Isaiah Gardner. Run thing got to get better. You got Deuce carrying us. I mean, it's an off night for JB. He's doing his best. Uh, he is not shooting it well. I'll tell you that. He's 7 for 21. 3 for 4 from 3, though. 17 points, 4 boards, 6 assists. McBride has been carrying us. And look, when a player's having an off night, that's why you got 15 guys on the roster. That's why you play, you know, 9, 10 guys in your rotation. You got other players. Somebody else has got to step up. DiVincenzo's done his part. He's got 16 points. McBride's got 21. Armstrong's got 10. He's done his part. You need a little bit more from Josh Hart, who's now up to 4, 6, and 4. Okay, he's stepping it up a little bit here in the second half, having a much better third quarter than he did in the first half overall. And the bench has yet to come in. Uh, between Burke, Bogdanovich, and Achua, three guys who, I don't know, maybe you rely on a little bit to give you scoring. Not so much Achua, but Burke and Bogdanovich, you've been asking them to score some baskets for you, and they haven't really come through. Jose said, heart getting activated. Absolutely, absolutely. Starting to get into it. Rebounds coming through. Getting out on the fast break. Peter said, uh, no robe. I'm surprised. No robe until, uh, no robe, no suit jacket, no, no uh, Clyde Frazier fit until the team is back healthy. Because, it, you know, how big of a game can it be if the Knicks aren't healthy? You know, how, how, can we expect this team to blow lesser teams out when they're this injured? So, until then, we're in survival mode. We are in survival mode. Once, once Ann and Obi is back, get Mitch Robinson back, hold on, you might see the, you might see the return of, of the robe. <clears throat> Especially if, if, you know, if it's going to be one of those easy games. I didn't think tonight, tonight's game was going to be easy. Because, uh, you know, Nick's coming off the West Coast road trip. It's an early start game. So, the time is... Difficult. Timing is difficult. Um, and, you know, the Nets, they, they get up to play the, the Knicks. You have to. You know, when you see uh, one team as a rival, you have to get up to play them. All right, here we go. McBride gets it into DiVincenzo. Over to Sims. Sims. Looking to get it to somebody. Good denial defense from Dennis Smith Jr., but tipped out of bounds by the Nets. Isaiah Garner, yeah, Josh Hart got to step up, uh, but I love how Deuce has been playing lately. Absolutely. Steven Chinzo struggling with the dribble, accidentally kicks it out of bounds. Ball going back to the Nets after the timeout. Knicks with a two-point lead, 76-74. Under two minutes to go here in the third. Dennis Smith Jr. bringing it down. Has it up top being guarded by Burks, who's come out into the game for Brunson. The Knicks with McBride, Burks, Sims, Hart, and DiVincenzo. De'Ron Sharp has it up top. Hands it off to Walker. Coming to his right. Pulls it back out. Shot clock winding down. Down to five. Lonnie Walker is going to go in the attack mode. Settles for a deep pull-up three. Comes up short. Josh Hart corrals the rebound. Here comes Deuce McBride bringing it down. Attacking the basket. Lays it off the left hand. Gets it to go. Deuce McBride not hesitating. <clears throat> going right to the basket. They gave him a lane. He took it right to the rim. Dennis Smith Jr. on the right wing. Coming to his left. Hesitation dribble. Gets to the basket. Kicks it in the corner. Dorian Finney-Smith wide open for three. Can't get it to go again. And a loose ball foul on Dayron Sharp. Jericho Sims keeping Sharp off the glass. McBride over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo has it up top. Coming to his right. Attacking Lonnie Walker. Euro steps and reverse layup on the left side of the basket from DiVincenzo. The Knicks get into the basket. 
Back up by six. Turn, turn around. Listen, we said by the end of the third quarter, let's go up eight to ten points. They're at six right now. We're under a minute to go. Dennis Smith Jr. has it up top. Over to Sharp. Sharp. Gets it over to Cam Thomas on the left wing. Jericho Sims switches out onto him. They bring a double team. Cam Thomas. Pass it deflected. Sims picks it up and saves it over to Burks. Bring it down. Burks, come on, push. Uh, the Nets get back on defense. The Knicks are going to have to slow down. Burks has it up top. Coming to his left. Hesitation dribble. Dayron Sharp switches on to Burks. Step back three for Alec Burks. Comes up short. Can't get it to go. Finney Smith with the rebound. Don't love that shot from Burks. I like the audaciousness, but I, not right now. Not right now. Tay Mac, what's up, Tay? Cam has it up top. 10 seconds to go in the game. Going to hold it for the final shot of the quarter. Coming to his left. And fouled by McBride. Knicks had a foul to give. Five seconds to go. Tay said, I'm so proud of Deuce. What a freaking beast. I mean, given the opportunity, he has not shied away from it. He has not shied away from the opportunity since the, uh, Emmanuel quickly was traded in the Ananobi trade. He stepped right in. He said, okay, my time to shine. I've been patient. I've been working my butt off. I'm, I've stayed ready. And here's my opportunity. And he hasn't given it up. He hasn't given anything back. He is now a fixed member of the rotation. Mikhail Bridges driving down, kicks it out. Cam Thomas, high arcing three, swishes it. They're going to count it for now, but they're going to look at the, uh, the buzzer. See if he got it off in time. They're going to show the replay here. Looks like he got it off in time. He got it off in time. Cam Thomas, high arcing, catch and shoot. Just firing it over Deuce as the shot clock expires. Swishes it. Nothing but net. That is the second buzzer beater. Ridiculous buzzer beater, might I add, that the Nets have hit. The first one came when Mikhail Bridges at halftime threw up a three-quarters court shot, knocked it down at the buzzer right before halftime. Uh, and then this one, Cam Thomas, quick catch and fire, deep three, overduced McBride, high arcing three, nothing but net. So there's two. There's six points right there that the Nets shouldn't have. But that's going to be the end of the third quarter, 80-77. to 77. Um, Both teams going back and forth, playing well. Neither team able to establish a, a larger lead than like six. Right? I think six has been the largest lead of the game so far. Maybe seven early, early, early in the first. But, I mean, these teams have been going back and forth all night. It's going to come down to the very, very, very end. And I'm not going to lie. I know Jalen Brunson hasn't been on one tonight. He's been pretty off. But I feel pretty comfortable with Jalen Brunson as my closer. I don't know about the Nets. I don't know. Peter said, thank God for sports because the rest of uh, the world is out of hand. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. James Mason. What's up, James? Russell Fields said, Josh Hart is doing work on the rebounds. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Russell Field, uh, Nick's getting hot. Got to continue this in the fourth quarter. Uh, Tom Thibodeau likely going to go to the bench unit to start the fourth as he usually does. It's his usual rotation. Um... Hopefully, they can keep up the good play. Bernard Johnson, uh, that's right. Take the ball out of the basket. Finally, right? Finally get into the basket. We've been asking for it all night. Raymond Vasquez, what's up, Raymond? Uh, Mark McKee, what's up, Mark? Uh, soon said, here it is. The third quarter rising, the fourth quarter shine. Now they need to shine. Now they need the shine part. They started the rise a little bit, a little bit towards the end of the third. You saw the rise coming. Now they need the shine here in the fourth. Nostalgic Nick said, Sims getting better at rebounding. It's weird. Sometimes he looks absolutely dominant on the boards, and then other times he looks awful. All right, here we go. Starting the fourth. Claxton has it up top. Over to Thomas. Thompson. Over to Dennis Smith Jr. They leave him open purposely, daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay, knocking down the three, tying it up at 80. To start the fourth quarter here. Steven Chinzo has it up top. Being guarded by Lonnie Walker. Over to Sims. Sims and Josh Hart in the same area. Come on. 
Steven Chin's on the right wing. Gonna have to go one on one. He's gotta make something out of nothing. Scoop layup with the right hand. Gets it to go, Steven Chinzo. Making something out of nothing with the scoop layup. The Nets pushing it the other way. Cam Thomas has it in the left corner. Over to Nick Claxton. Attacking Jericho Sims off the bounce. Flips it up with the left hand. Can't get it to go. Jericho Sims with the rebound. There we go. Jericho waking up here in the second half. Having a much better second half than he did in the first. Steven Chinzo. Oh, pull up three for Steven Chinzo. Knocks it down. Straight away three. And the Knicks back up by five. Line me up, Devo. He's up to 23 points here tonight. Cam Thomas over to Claxton up top. Claxton hands it off to Thomas, coming to his right. He sees two defenders. Thomas has to pull it back out. Kicks it over to Lonnie Walker. Catches, fires from the left corner. Comes <clears throat> Josh Hart up top. Over to Sims. Leaves it off to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo coming to his left. Dennis Smith Jr. is trying to stay with him. DiVincenzo, oh, beautiful hesitation move. Oh, flipped it up with the right hand. He was behind the backboard. Got the little layup to go. <laughs> and a 7-0 run by DiVincenzo all by himself. 87-80, to 80, taking a 7-point lead here. Crazy, crazy scoop layup from DiVincenzo. There you go. This is what we've been asking for, right? Someone is having an off game. Somebody else has got to step up. McBride and DiVincenzo have been that offensively tonight. Uh, James said, that's the Deuce McBride I saw in the G League uh, when he was playing in it. Absolutely, absolutely, which is why you always thought that, like, this guy should be a rotation player. What's going on? Here he is. Here he is, everybody. Here he is. Welcome, Deuce McBride. <laughs> Jules said, second time they allowed a long shot to end the quarter. Come on, man. I mean, they're just lucky shots at this point. The Cam Thomas a little less so. Um, it was a contest. It was a high arcing shot, which, you know, leans on the side of more of a lucky shot um the mikhail bridges is just you know it's just a lucky shot. it's a three-quarter score heave you got it to go down um it sucks that it happened twice in one game but you know the knicks they could survive it up seven here starting to build a lead mbm said nets <laughs> nets making trick shots and still lose yeah yeah i mean that's what happens when you're not a good team We've been on that end as Knicks fans, right, for years. Not anymore. Now with Leon Rose in the building. Now with Tom Thibodeau as the head coach. Now with Jalen Brunson as a Nick. Nostalgic Knicks have put Precious in the game. I don't think Precious or Bogdanovich are in the game right now, right? Interesting. They both played seven minutes so far tonight. Tom Thibodeau leaning on the guys he could trust. Uh, James said, uh, what's up? Can you lighten up the net scoreboard? Thank you. Uh, I can't right now. Not in the middle of the game. Uh, but I'll do it after the game. I'll work on it. <clears throat> I believe this is the last time they play the Nets this season. Uh, the Nets are a tricky team to do because they have, they have, their teams are black and white, so. I guess I could do white and then lighten it up with the gray. I don't know why I did the black and then lighten it down. Actually, I can. Actually, hold on. Hold on. We could do this. We could do this, James. We got time. We're still in the, we're still in the, the timeout. We're coming back now. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Boom. All right, the Nets bringing it down now. Schroeder has it up top. Being guarded by Burks. Oi, oi, oi. There we go. All right. Cam Johnson has it. Pocket pass to uh, Claxton, but knocked out of bounds by DiVincenzo. Great help from DiVincenzo. That's much better, isn't it? Now you can't see the Nets. Hold on, I can fix that too. Boom. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> so Brooklyn has five on the shot clock to shoot. Ten minutes to go. They get it over to Bridges. Pump fakes. And fouled by Josh Hart. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. You know better than that.
There we go. Should be better. Should be better, James. James said the, uh, the McBride and the Pig Ragu show. Absolutely. Absolutely. They've been going back and forth here tonight. Here we go. Cam Johnson up top to Schroeder. Schroeder has it being guarded by Burks. Coming to his right off the Claxton screen. Stops. Pump fakes over to uh, Cam Johnson. Driving it down. Puts up the floater. Can't get it to go. Josh Hart knocks the ball away from Nick Claxton who had a wide open put back dunk. Look at Josh Hart. Saving the two points there for the Knicks. McBride has it up top over to Sims. Sims. Hands it off to McBride. McBride in the mid-range. Puts up the mid-range jumper. You know that's going in. Can't get it to go. Josh Hart off at the rebound. Puts it up and in. They can't keep him off the glass. Josh Hart has awoken here in the second half. 9-0 run for the Knicks. Bridges has it up top being guarded by Hart. Coming to his left off the Claxton screen. Driving it down. Step back. Mid-range jumper. Comes up short. Fight for the rebound. Claxton keeps it alive. Bridges puts up the three. Can't get it to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. He is everywhere right now. Here comes Deuce McBride, bringing it down. Nine minutes to go. The Knicks have all the momentum. Got to keep the scoring going. Make it a double-digit lead. McBride, jab step, coming to his left. Leaves it off. Devin Chinzo, open, out of the corner for three. You know that's going in. It's going in, baby. And the Knicks take a 12-point lead. 92-80. to 80. Here comes the fourth quarter shining, everybody. We're under nine minutes to go. <laughs> Devin Chinzo up to 28 tonight. Dennis Schroeder has it up top. Being guarded by Burks. Over to Bridges, hands it off to Schroeder. Schroeder dancing with it, crosses over to his left on Burks, gets to the rim, lays it up, gets blocked by DiVincenzo. Alec Burks is right there. McBride pushing it. Over to DiVincenzo. Up top to Sims, hands it off to DiVincenzo, coming to his left, and they call a moving screen on Sims off the handoff. Come on, Jericho. Oh, we had the momentum. We had the momentum. So the ball is going to go back to the Nets here. It was DiVincenzo and Burks. Look at they both got a hand on it. Anyway, the Nets have it here. Schroeder stepping back. Over to Cam Thomas being guarded by McBride. Coming to his left off the Cam Johnson screen. DiVincenzo is going to pick him up. Cam Johnson coming down. Spins. Throws up a floater. Comes up short. Can't get it to go. But is fouled by, I believe, DiVincenzo. Nostalgic Nick Dante is everywhere right now. It, the, this fourth quarter has been the Dante and Josh Hart show so far. <laughs> still no Brunson, still no Harnstein. Daniel, what's up, Daniel? Scoreboard's off. Appreciate you, Knicks fan. It is uh, 92. Forgot to count to three. I was too busy going crazy. <clears throat> Cam Thomas knocked down the first free throw. He's got one more coming. And he goes two for two at the line. Brunson and Hartenstein do check in for the final eight minutes of the game. It is a 10-point game here. Brunson bringing it down. The Knicks have their starting five in there. Brunson, McBride, Hart, Harnstein, DiVincenzo out of the corner for three again. DiVincenzo comes up short. Claxton with the rebound. He's bringing it down. He's pushing the pace. Cam Johnson out of the corner for three. Comes up short. Can't get it to go. Brunson with the rebound. He's bringing it down. In and out dribble. Pulling it back. Slips. Saves it. Back door to DiVincenzo, catches, leaves it off for Harnstein, catches, pump fake. Now he goes up and throws it down. The patience from Isaiah Harnstein, getting the two-point basket there. And the ball movement, the player movement. Cam Johnson pump fakes from three, leaves it off for Schroeder. They leave him open, straight away three. Rattles in and out, and it falls out. Can't get it to stay. <clears throat> Josh Hart bringing it down, has it up top. Over to McBride. McBride over to Brunson. Brunson coming along the corner. Swings through. Over to Harnstein. Little flip shot. Can't get that one to stay. It was a nice pass from Brunson. Harnstein can't get it to go down. Here comes Mikhail Bridges right side of the court. It's a 12-point game. 94 to 82. Over to Cam Johnson. Catches. Coming down the lane. I love the way the Knicks are running him off the three-point line. Cam Johnson has McBride in the post. He's got the height advantage. Good defense from McBride. Bridges coming down. Up top to uh, Johnson, who pump fakes, driving it down, goes right into McBride. It is a blocking foul, absolutely. McBride wasn't there in time. 
And so Cam Johnson's going to go to the foul line for two free throws. Michael Brown. Thank you, Michael Brown. I think I fixed it now, right? That's the correct score. It is 94 to 82. 640 to go here in the fourth. Cam Johnson at the foul line for two free throws. Cam Johnson's got two free throws. Putting up the first one. Knocks it down. He's got one more coming. Knicks fan said, can you show the score system? I want to know what you're using. Um, it's just a custom-made scoreboard that I made, and I'm using my stream deck to manipulate the numbers. <clears throat> I'm using my stream deck. That's all it is. I press a button, and the number goes up. Um, Cam Johnson knocked down both free throws, 84 to 94. Brunson has it up top, going one-on-one against Schroeder. Step back, mid-range jumper over Schroeder, comes up short, long rebound. Schroeder picks it up, he's bringing it down. Has it on the right side of the court, McBride's going to guard him. Coming to his left off the Claxton screen, Dorian Finney-Smith screen, excuse me. Back to Schroeder, over to Cam Johnson, they swing it out to Bridges. Bridges has it up top, six minutes to go, halfway point, forgot to start the timer. Bridges, hesitation. In, lobs it inside. Dorian Finney-Smith tips it out. Schroeder, right corner three, wide open. Can't get it to go. Harnstein with the rebound. And Brunson's going to bring it down. We are under six minutes to go now. My timer will catch up in a second. Brunson on the right wing. Being guarded by Bridges. Coming to his left over to Josh. Hands it off to DiVincenzo. Over to Brunson. Brunson crosses over to his left. Attacking Dorian Finney-Smith. Goes to his floater. Can't get the floater to go. Josh Hart offensive rebound. Saves it out to Deuce. Right wing three for Deuce. You know that's going in, baby. You just know that's going in. Deuce McBride knocks down the three. Gives the Knicks a 13-point lead. He's been cooking tonight. He's up to 26. Remember his season, his career high is 29, which he hit uh, two games ago against Golden State. Josh Hart guarding Dorian Finney-Smith on the switch. Up top to Schroeder. Schroeder. Being guarded by DiVincenzo, coming to his left off the screen, attacking Harnstein, gets blocked by Harnstein, and he saves it. Brunson picks it up, bringing it down, over to DiVincenzo, extra pass to Josh Hart. He wasn't expecting it. He's going to slow it down. Hit him in the face, but he's able to save it. McBride over to Brunson. Brunson has it, right side of the court, high post against Cam Thomas, guarding him one-on-one. -on -one. Brunson drives, puts it up, can't get it to go, got blocked looks like. Brunson trying to draw these fouls, not getting it. McBride comes up with the steal. Over to Brunson. Over to Hartenstein. Who goes up with a two-handed hammer? The Knicks are getting whatever they want. The Nets can't score. The defense is stepping up. Everybody's chipping in here tonight. Everything going the Knicks way here in the fourth quarter. It is a party over there in the garden. <clears throat> they are out-hustling, out-muscling, and just being overall a better, more organized basketball team so far here tonight we are under five minutes to go people 430 to go and the Knicks with a 14 point lead and the Nets struggling to even get the ball up the half court line right now Josh Hart flying everywhere they can't grab rebounds because Josh Hart is everywhere they can't uh, <clears throat> they can't close out the three-point line because McBride and DiVincenzo are just sniping from from three they can't miss right now. Now, Mc Br now Brunson is having a horrific shooting game. Um, he is 7 for 24. He is under 30. He is like 30% from the field. That's horrendous. Uh, he only has 17 points, 5 boards, 7 assists. He's doing a little bit of everything. He's chipping in where he can. But the shooting has been horrendous. Um, not getting the usual foul calls he usually does. But listen, everybody else stepping up. Harnstein with 14, 8, and 2. Uh, McBride with 26. Steven Chinzo, 28. Josh Hart with 6. He's up to 12 rebounds now. He had, what, 3 rebounds at halftime? We said this guy needs to step up. This is not the Josh Hart we've been seeing the last couple of games. He stepped up. When we needed him most, he stepped up. And here we are. The Knicks with a 14-point lead. 15-point lead. 99-84. to 84. 
So she said, knees are knocking. Absolutely. Drew said, keep feeding Deuce. We need Deuce to get the career high. We need him to get his first 30 ball of his career here tonight. It's got to happen. Against the Nets, it'd be beautiful. Tate Max said, Tibbs loves Deuce. I mean, how much more confidence can you have in a guy by, insert, you know, by inserting him into the starting lineup? He loves this guy. He's also, it also crippled our bench because now we got nothing off the bench. <laughs> by the way, interesting tidbit. No Bogdanovich, no pressures of Chua in the second half. <clears throat> Tom Thibodeau going with the guys he trusts. And it is what it is. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're checking back in now. Mike, what's up, Mike? Just got home. Um, and we get this and another and another. <clears throat> well, we got Brooklyn tonight. We got Detroit on Monday, so they should be able to pick up these two wins pretty easily. Looks like they're on their way to a win tonight, but they should be able to also beat Detroit because they're not a good basketball team either. All right, here we go. Dennis Smith Jr. bringing it down. 4.30 to go. Smith Jr. has it up top. And he gets caught in the air. Dorian Finney-Smith <coughs> wasn't expecting to pass. Dennis Smith Jr. got caught in the air. It is a turnover ball going back to the Knicks. Josh Hart bringing it down. On the right wing. Over to McBride. Over to DiVincenzo. Inside the Hornstein. Hornstein hands it off to Brunson, coming to his left. Cross court pass to Josh Hart. Bad pass, but he's able to save it. And then a reach in foul on Dorian Finney Smith. And that's just a bad foul. Shot clock is winding down for the Knicks. That's just a bad foul from Dorian Finney Smith. <clears throat> Brunson into DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Brunson fakes the handoff. He's got Cam Johnson guarding him. Brunson crosses over to his left, getting downhill, stops, pump fakes inside the Hornstein. Hornstein gets fouled and one for Isaiah Hornstein off the beautiful feed from Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson up to eight assists. We're under four minutes to go. Time winding down on the Brooklyn Nets here this afternoon. The Nets with only 84 points here with four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. I mean, the defense, you want to talk about taking up? The defense ticked up. Harnstein knocks down the and one free throw. Cam Thomas bringing it down. Cam Thomas coming to his right off the Cam Johnson screen. Thomas in the corner. Dorian Finney Smith pump fakes going along the baseline, lays it up, gets it to go. Brunson bringing it down over to Josh Hart. Josh Hart, right side of the court. 3.30 to go over to McBride. Over to DiVincenzo. Over to Hardenstein. Hardenstein spinning, coming to his left, loses it. Dennis Smith Jr. pinks it up. Hit head pass to Bridges, left wing three. Can't get it to go. Josh Hart with the rebound. And not going to lie, this game's feeling over. The Nets got nothing going. Shoulders are slumping. Hands on knees. They looking tired. They can't keep up. Brunson on the left wing. Over to McBride. Extra pass. Steven Chinzo out of the corner for three. Can't get it to go. Bridges with the rebound. Hit ahead to Dennis Smith Jr. He's trying to get an easy one in transition. Leaves it off for Bridges on the left wing. He pump fakes. He's driving it down. Attacking the basket. Kicks it up top. Dorian Finney-Smith wide open for another three. And then yet another miss for Dorian Finney-Smith. He used to be a knockdown three-point shooter. He's got nothing but open looks tonight. And he has hit nothing. Brunson has it up top, being guarded by Finney, uh, Dennis Smith Jr. Over to DiVincenzo, wide open in the corner for three. Stand still three. Ooh, halfway down and in and out. Can't get it to stay. Out of bounds by Deuce, fighting for the offensive rebound. Ball is going to go back to the Nets. 2.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Time is winding down. Three, uh, three GP said keep him under 90. Would be nice. Would be nice. Another sub-90 uh, uh, defensive masterpiece from the Knicks. DiVincenzo picks off the pass, steals it, going all the way down, throw, goes up and throws it down with two hands. <clears throat> and 
and timeout for Brooklyn. 2.10 to go. 18-point lead for the Knicks. DiVincenzo heating up here in the fourth quarter. He's got a 30 ball. Deuce McBride was on one all game. Kept the Knicks in it, especially when Jalen Brunson was, oof, he was, you want to talk about a player being off? I, I, it's been a long time since we've seen Jalen Brunson this off with his shot. Couldn't knock down anything. The floater wasn't going. The mid-range jumpers weren't going. The only thing that was really going was his three-point shooting. Three for four from three. Uh, Hornstein chipping in exactly where he needed to. <clears throat> Does he have another double-double tonight? Isaiah Hornstein, 14 points, eight rebounds, two assists. That's not right. That's not right. Let me update it. Isaiah Harnstein, 17 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists. So he's 1 rebound away from his double-double. Jalen Brunton end is, doesn't end. 17 points, 4 boards, 8 assists. McBride with 26 points. We need 4 more points for McBride. Josh Hart with a ridiculous stat line of 6 points, uh, 13 rebounds, 5 assists. Steven Chinzo with a 30 ball here tonight carrying the team. 6 boards, 5 assists, especially here in the 4th quarter. Didn't get anything from the bench. Didn't get absolutely anything from the bench. 8 points from the bench. 5 for Burks, 3 for Bogdanovich. <clears throat> uh, and I think two from, no, that's it. Five points for Burke, three for Bogdanovich, and that is it. Nothing else from the bench. Bernard Johnson's time to put this one in the books. Absolutely. Absolutely. MBM said their bodies just got off the plane and we smack them. I mean, they're just not a good team, this team. I love the time to run down way too much. There's two minutes to go here in the game. Uh, the Nets have emptied their bench. They have emptied their bench. Dennis Smith Jr. driving it down. Up top, Trendon Wofford for three. Gets it to go. 104-89. Looks like the Knicks aren't going to be able to hold them to under 90. Unless they don't score. McBride cut back door, can't get the pass to stay, over to Josh Hart, Josh Hart puts up the three, can't get it to go, McBride chasing down the rebound, can't get it, Wofford ends up with it, here comes, not sure who that is, Kata Bates Diop, cross court pass to Dennis Smith Jr., he's driving it down and throws it down with one hand, and there is the 90 point threshold, the Nets just passed, 91 to 104 now, Um, <clears throat> one twenty to go here in the fourth quarter, time winding down. Thank you, Knicks fan. But it's the end of the game. It doesn't really matter anymore. We're just waiting to the final score. Final buzzer. The Knicks are going to uh, pick up the win here tonight. Brunson, uh, uh, DiVincenzo got fouled going to the basket. 113 to go here in the fourth quarter. Uh, padding the stats here. Nostalgic said, uh, why is Josh Hart still out there? Because Tom Thibodeau's a madman. He's a, he's a psycho. Dante DiVincenzo knocks down the free throw. He's got one more coming. MBM said, keep him under a bug. Absolutely. They're not going to get nine points in, in 80 seconds. DiVincenzo misses the free throw. I think that one's pretty locked up. That one's pretty safe to keep him under 100. Wofford driving it down. DiVincenzo fouls. A Brooklyn Net, who I'm not sure who who they are. <laughs> uh, let's look it up. Uh, that is Noah Clowney. Noah Clowney, rookie, I believe, or second year player, rookie, young player. Harnstein, over to Divincenzo. Under a minute to go, and the crowd is going to give a standing ovation to the Knicks. This one is pretty much over. They're going to dribble out the clock. <clears throat> Josh Hart out by the half-court line. Over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo going to put the shot up. Off the front rim, long rebound. Burks, Harnstein secures the rebound. He wants his 10th rebound. Shout out Isaiah Harnstein with the double-double tonight. Yes, sir. He went out and grabbed that rebound. Yes, sir, my guy. Pad those stats. Pad those stats. You love to see it. You love to see it. <clears throat> uh, 
Dennis Smith Jr. is going to bring it down. 14 seconds to go. This is it. Gets to the basket, lays it up and in. 93 to 105 is going to be the final score as the Knicks will dribble out the clock. 10 seconds to go. And that's it, everybody. That's it, everybody. I don't want to keep you any longer. I want you guys to go and enjoy your Saturday. Uh, the only thing I will say is uh, our next game is against the Detroit Pistons, the lowly, lowly Pistons. But you got to remember, they're coming off of a, you know, they've been, they're feisty. They're a feisty team. They got some talent. They're just a young team, not well coached. Um, so they give away a lot of games. <clears throat> so we're going to go against Detroit on Monday. It's going to be in the Garden, of course. Um, and uh, it's a 7.30 start. Back to our normal time. That, was, uh, that last West Coast road trip was the last time we're going to have a really, really late game like that. Uh, so normal time, 7.30 on Monday against the Detroit Pistons. And the Pistons are going to be looking for some revenge. The Knicks got to come out ready to go the same way they did tonight. Where, you know, not that they were ready to go from the jump. But they eventually pulled away in the second half. Especially the start of that fourth quarter and the end of that third quarter. And uh, able to pull out the win. Big nights from Dante DiVincenzo and Deuce McBride. We're going to get Deuce McBride that 30 ball. We're going to get it to him. <clears throat> But shout out to everybody in the chat. Appreciate you guys coming out on this early start on this Saturday afternoon. I hate these early start times. Appreciate you guys coming out, making the game fun for me. Um, and that's going to be it. Uh, so to everybody, Jules, Hart, Mark, MBM, Efrain, Yvette, uh, Mark, uh, Bernard Johnson, 3GP, everybody, Nostalgic Nick who's in the chat tonight, of course, Susan, um, everybody, Raymond Vasquez, um, uh, Steve, Shout out to everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me, Mike, uh, Ty. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. That's going to be it. And I'll see you guys Monday. I'm out. Bye.